It's about Hello. that time. What's going on, oh, penguin? Yeah. Guess what we're going to do? Get my heckin' bomb mount weather. Ready to see this gold bomb mount I'm gonna go get? You guys still playing 14? Yeah, Pog. Whether there's free emoji here now you can use. I got blessed by the beta, the Twitch beta project. I don't know if that's a very widespread thing, but it does say beta, so I thought I was special. You guys took a break? Oh, it's Sandoria. Yeah! Kanye! Going to get my golden bomb. Yeah, golden bomb. Kanye! Just before I started stream, Kane started having a temper tra tantrum. Or you all had to miss it. It was <laughs> Bamming bats, that counts as birds with weapon skills. I don't know what that means. I need to turn my volume down. Give me a sec. Frickin' Sandoria music. It's so loud. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, it's it's just like the bagpipe, you know? Because uh, sure. in 14, what is it, Idleshire with the bagpipes? Holy uh, shit, yeah. man. It's so loud. This way! Nice mask! Dude! You an assy? Yeah. <laughs> That's one of the things you can buy. Oh yeah, gobby chest, which I just ran away from. I think that was near where I left. Um, and I also set up my camera so that I can use my VTuber. And if you guys still want to spend your channel points on the, um, the snap cams, I can switch it. Because it's now, my VTuber is feeding through Snapcam, so you can still redeem your points, because I felt bad that I don't really have anything for the VTuber to switch to. So, if you want to do that, you can do that. <clears throat> There's one in South Sandy? Yeah, you're right. That, I think that was the first one I ever talked to, and he was like, You don't have to wait three, five days or something crazy. Yeah. Alright, this bomb, how much does he cost? Uh, he's under the 300. That's what I thought. Give me him. And I think he's towards the bottom. Babu too, though. Maybe I'll get him. Oh, and a yeah. Dalmo! Do I have a Dalmo? I can afford all I, of this. I doubt you do. <clears throat> I can do it. Can I just get some? Yeah. Wait, what was that mask called? Uh, it's also oh. 300. It's called the Cumulus. Mask. Cumulus mask. Yeah, I will. I'm gonna get them all. What's the beetle? Oh, what is all this stuff? I, I, I mean, I, I want it all, but I also don't want to scroll through a million mounts <laughs> to get to the one I want. I told you to log on and get your points. Oh, the crab? Fuck. All right. I just bought the crab. Yeah, I'm getting the crab. I have 2,100 points. I'm good. I don't know about the beetle. What's the beetle? We'll get the mask. I, ha I have the beetle. Um, I can I can take him out and show you what it looks like when we uh. When we start riding. <laughs> Why can you buy more than one mask? That's funny. Oops. Yeah, you have to just punch in one. I did. So, alright, hold on. Get back to where. Um. Oh, the Worm King mask is the one where you were like breathing. Yeah. Are yeah. you Bahamut? Yeah. <laughs> you and then check this out. Weird. I know. And then the, the helmet dispenses 99 of these items that make me do this. Ah! Ow! <laughs> that hurts! <laughs> yeah, to all of my children. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, no, no. Oh no. What are you doing to Bahamut? <laughs> Why do they allow people to dress like him? Stop! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Incredible. <laughs> Unbelievable. I don't think I bought the Dommel. Can you accidentally buy two things? Or buy something twice? Yes. Let me check. 
getting distracted. I forgot what I bought already. Oh, I only have <laughs> space for one more thing in my inventory. Eric. Yeah, you may not have cleaned I out your inventory last time. Not get the domo. What is? Can I throw some of this shit away? Hippogriff, ill feather, radiant yes, memory, can. fleeting memory, yep. kindred yep. seal. Keep the kindred seal. Okay. But that other shit you can probably get rid of. Yes. <clears throat> yes. <Drop>. Gobby key. <coughs> Special gobby dial key. I think I want to keep that. Buck yes, missions you... do gobby bags. <laughs> yes, keep it. Okay. Let me put the other thing in my mog house thing. Case. Words. That's it. That thing. Okay, now we can get the Dommel. Free turn, Mugo. God, stop strutting. Stop it. <laughs> 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 uh, all right, Dalmo. Did I check the other stuff? The worth? Uh, there's like a list on the wiki of like things that you can get. Okay. Let me just peek. Um, I won't spend forever. Peek. Yeah, you can peek. There's the Iron Giant that you had. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> That is not how Bahamut <laughs> fights people. <laughs> the face is really cool looking on the Bahamut. There he is. He does look pretty cool. Right, these are all... Stop it! <laughs> 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 it's ridiculous. <laughs> I think I need any of this. Oh, what that is. Back down. I think that's it, huh? All oh, right, this is um. Would you look at that? There's kindred seals right here. Yeah. Nice strut, cracked nut. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. We have to go to Juno. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go, Bahamut. <laughs> nice tail. Um, oh my God! History. Look, look at your tail. Yeah! Wait... <laughs> it's so tiny! <laughs> Why is your tail so tiny? Because I'm Bahamut. Oh man. I think Bahamut would be very displeased and unamused if he saw you running around in that. <laughs> nah. Um... Is it upper? I think it's upper. Uh, it is upper. And then, um, the auction house one, I think. I think you're right. The closest. Do you guys want to or... do the love battlefields too? That. I don't know what that is. I'm going to do more MSQ after we get these mounts. Does that level me up? Hopefully my game doesn't crash, or like my computer doesn't crash with me trying to pull off this camera thing. Why I haven't rigged. I think it's working okay. Uh, it's Mappy Toto, isn't it? Yeah. Trade or talk? I never Trade. remember. I'm gonna talk first. Hello, hello! Let's do this? No, that's training. Wait, you can train the raptor? Um, I don't know, maybe it's training the raptor again? I don't know. Oh, yeah, like you could repeat it? Can I just yeah, give maybe. them all? No, it's one at a time, right? Yeah, I think you gotta do one at a time. A poo. This is an old game. There's your crab! Three item things that only come around very rarely. Oh! What kind of item things? Like worth it? Wait, I keep talking. Talk, just trade. Abu? Thank you, Mappy Toto! Trade. 
you. Aw, oh, man. Wow, you're fast. You did that all already? Oh, I only had one to trade them. Oh, shit. Well, then I'm I fast. bought a bunch of stuff the other day, so I only had enough to buy uh, a crab. What's the second one? What's worth it? Ah, oh, the golden bomb. This is the one I want. <laughs> yeah. Give me it, Mappy Toto. I went outside to Battalion Downs. Is that the exit here? Yeah, I figured you'd want to see the mount. Yeah, yeah. I want to see all the ones I just got. Um, and I should probably do Gobby Box, right? It's... Guys, I don't remember. To Battalia? Yeah, you're going the right way. Let's wait. Gonna zoom out so I look like I'm running faster. I give some really expensive and hard to farm items once every 60 hours. What is them with putting stuff on real life hours? <laughs> a belt. Oh. Do I even have a belt? I don't even know if I have a belt right now. Yeah, you might not. Page is my armor right now. Yeah. Ah, oh, jeez. I'm like, why do I have a ping? Because I joined a PvP thing and I never turned off my <laughs> oh. everybody. Right, yeah. The press. The press it. That should just be automatic. You should have to opt in. Opt out. Alright, sorry guys. We're back. Here we go. We'll do Golden Bomb Mount uh, last. Because that's obviously going to be the best one. Is this the crab? I think it is. It is the crab! Yeah! Oh, that's the one I just got. Oh, he's funny. Oh, that's the beetle. Okay. Hey, Crazy Corky! You love Eleven. I love Eleven. I am so new <laughs> to this game still. Oh my god, I love this. Because now I have it in this game and I have it in 14. Yeah, yes. it's way smaller in it's this one. So this one tight. looks like an actual crab. It feels like it goes <laughs> so fast in this game. Look at my character like <laughs> bouncing as it runs. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Alright, this uh, is kind of rivaling the bomb for me. <laughs> Thank you, Hydrate. You got one too and I thought someone was pinging you. Yeah, are you in that Discord too, Weather? I was like, what the heck? Get out of here. You played this for so long? Do you play it anymore? I feel like I've seen your name in here before. I apologize if my memory is really bad. Red crab better? Yeah, I like this one because it matches the one I have in 14. Oops, I don't want trust. Ounce. Alright, so that was the crab. Then I got, oh, I got the gabu. It's always good. Oh, uh, nice. Yeah, I didn't get the yeah! gabu yet. Yeah! Oh, it's got a oh, round nice. on its head, like the 1.01. 1. Nice. Uh, I wish he had a sneeze on. animation. Oh my god, he's large? His head just sticks right into my camera. I wish I had like 3D glasses on. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he's that so looks really funny. Big. <laughs> 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 and I'm just chilling. Banana oh, nana. Rourke. Rourke wants banana. You want banana. Alright, yeah. So I just explained that I I fixed my shit so now I can actually use my snap cam filters. A banana in just a second. Have to look. Banana, na, 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 na. Uh, I'm gonna do. I was gonna do. If I'm on a VTuber, I'll do like 10 minutes. Oh, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> so you'll hear it at nice. five minutes, and I'll have to reset the counter. Gabu. Ah! I love it. <laughs> you have a nice poo, Rourke. I know you just probably got out of there. You went like three hours ago. <laughs> I had a bit of poo. Yeah, he had to leave our party because he had to poo. Ah. Uh, yes. Look at his face. Uh, I didn't get. I didn't get the Dommel yet. I'm trying. I'm trying to save up to get all the mounts. Oh my god, get him! Look at his stupid mouth. <laughs> I can't even like see. I want to like. <laughs> oh, my oh my god, he's a mouth breather. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Oh my god. 
I love it. <laughs> keep doing that. All right, last but not least. Dust bomb. The freaking golden bomb, you guys, I got it. Oh, no, I have a time limit, right? I gotta wait. Yeah, you gotta wait a little bit. Will they just light up when it's ready? Aw, <clears throat> oh, man, I should have stayed on the Dalmo longer. Yeah, the time limit shows up on the bottom right of your screen. Oh, okay, it's almost up. Yeah, it's not very long. That's silly. You just can't, like, spam take them out. I don't know why, it's yeah. weird. I don't get it. It's- oh my god! It looks so much cooler, like, than the screenshots, like, in the game. The, oh, yeah. The the, the, sh the screenshots don't do it justice, no. do justice of how gold it is. Yeah. It's so gold. Uh, yeah! <laughs> He's awesome! All right. This is my new main. Bomb mount. I don't know. I really like the crab, too. We'll have to have the crab come out sometimes. Oh, my God. I love him. Look at his hands! Look at his little hands! Yeah. <laughs> I want this in 14 so badly. You're missing there... 13 mounts? I think I have less than 13 mounts, period. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is great. I don't know if I want that one. He's yeah, right. he's more he's more expensive. He's like 500, I think. Mm, yeah, I saw. But I I like him because I don't feel too slow when I'm on it, and I can, like, still see myself. Like, it's what, what I don't like about the Adamantoys is that he's so big, but I can't really see myself, and it feels like I'm going slow. Um... Well, I love this. We should yeah. find a Gobby. Should what? Do the Gobby thing. Okay, I don't know where that is in Juno. I think I know... I... Oh, I think it might be in Lower Juno. Oh, there's one in Juno? I think so. Yeah. Upper near Mog. Upper near Mog. Right. Okay, there's probably one in, like, every zone. Oh, that's far from me. Yeah, there's a Telly. Telly, Telly, Telly. We'll get to the story soon, I promise. Travel. Current region, Upper Juno, Moggy Moggy Moggy. Hey. <clears throat> Remember when I was really, really, really slow and bad at the teleport menus? I yeah. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, it's just, you gotta get used to it. No, not in port? Which way should I go from here? Probably north. Is that where you went? Yeah, oh, I found him. Okay. Run, Mary. Hey. Where's Trix? Hello, friend. If you trade him the key, he opens a chest for you. Oh, right. Okay, hold on. Oh, is that what I got, like, for logging in? Uh, yeah. Oh. I got an ocean sash. Bobby Key. That looks, uh... It's a waste for Humes only. <laughs> oh, great. Great. Oi, would you look at that? Things are happening. I got a Dark Knight card. Aragon Dark Knight card. A sad do. Is the triple triad in this game? <laughs> Maybe. What is this? A time-worn card bearing an exquisite illustration of a paragon of dark night excellence. Oh, that's halfway on the banana. Five more minutes. That is AF plus two and plus three? For dark night? I don't really know what to do with it. I got a jackknife. It's a fish, apparently. Okay, it's for Dark Knight. Should I hang on to it? I mean, if, if you're gonna take Dark Knight all the way up... What? Wait, do they... use cards? I don't understand what it's for. It, it's probably an item that you need for uh, artifact armor. Oh. That's, that's my guess. 
All right, let me put it in my mod case, and if it takes up room, I'll get rid of it later. Yeah? That's a plan. Yeah, that's probably fine. Put all this crap in my inventory. Is it always like this? I gotta put that away somewhere. Probably. Uh, to be honest, like the the stuff that you bought with sparks, you can probably throw it away or sell it, like NPC it. Because that's if you ever level another thing, right? Oh, you mean like your inventory, inventory? Yeah, or my your... inventory is constantly at like twenty one. Yeah. Well, I mean, it is what it is. Can do I can put copy. this cumulus mask in my wardrobe. Yeah. Put it in there. You pinged me? Every job has them? Alright, hold on. Look. Oh! I see. Okay, so it's- is it something you trade then, later, for that job? That's my assumption, yeah. It's yeah. like, probably something that you need to go farm for. But if I you just got it that way, then following you. you don't need to farm for it. Oh, I'm just selling some shit that I got. Oh. Well. I was trying to trying to ditch you. Shit. A nice moon. Well, I guess it's, uh... That was all I did with the Bugabi, right? There's nothing else to do? Oh, this looks weird, putting on gloss with the banana. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, for 119 plus 2 and 3 special dial. Oh, special dial! I gotta talk to him again? Think I'm understanding you? Maybe? Probably not? Oh, uh, yeah, I remember we talked to him in Sandoria mm -hmm. and did like a. And Funk said to only do like the one that is like 50 points or something like that. I don't remember. I see. Someone has HD textures, yes! It took me like six hours to get it installed and it was so worth it. So good. Special day tally all the way at the bottom. Welcome in, by the way. Special welcome, day welcome. tally. Wait, I don't have that. I have or a special dial. Open? It's all the way at the bottom. Open the box and profit? Yeah, click that. Worth it always, then, you're not wrong. And, and then all the way down, special dial, okay. 50 tally. Gotcha. I think that's pretty sure that's what he's talking about. Ah, right. Also, I'm not always a banana, but welcome. And I hope I'm not creeping you out. <laughs> what did I get? I got a Yilin... Yil Yilin Baligi. <laughs> oh, well, that? That, that's a word. Wait, what is that? <laughs> there it is. Fresh oh, I got a fish. piece of... Uh... <laughs> Void headwear for Bard. You got a fish? <laughs> I got a friggin' fish! Yeah. There's a fish in that box. I got a fish. Are we excited about the update? There's an up- wait. Didn't we just get the update? I don't think- so... She is just at first experiencing Chains of Promethea. Hmm. And I am a returning veteran um, re-experiencing the story, but I, I, I haven't done any like recent end game stuff mm. so so i heard the update added like some new content for like end game end game players Thanks. uh but i haven't uh, done any of that oh yeah thank you thank you yeah i this is what day i don't think i updated the day unfortunately that was dumb of me day 34 maybe 35 it's plus one day to whatever it says on my stream right <laughs> is that's how many days i've actually logged in and played yeah I'm very new. Not even master level 20 thief yet, Paige. Yeah, you slacker. You know why? It's because he helps my slow dumb ass try to get through here. Alright, that's <laughs> that's the snap cam. We're out. Master level 20 thief? We but out. I'm 90 something. There we go. We back. <laughs> yeah, and, and with the HD uh, textures... They, th those are kind of like what sold me on coming back. That and the uh, uh, the thank 60 you. frames per second stuff. Thank you, thank you for the follow. Enjoy your free oh, nice. emotes. You get five, I think, free emotes. Oh, you following. got a follow? Nice. Yeah. 
That's my cat. He's an idiot. <laughs> Was he meowing? No, uh, he gets the emotes, or she, or they. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You get the emotes. He you. You get the emotes. You and get you the get emotes. the emotes. Oh, nice. You're on Ragnarok. Sweet. Oh, awesome. Best server. Yeah, I, I started on Ragnarok <laughs> long ago when I was a wee last starting community college. I am blindly following you around, by the way. <laughs> okay, I, I assume you want to continue story. Is that what? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, you, t uh, sorry, I'm trying to read your name on my phone. Ult Ultimore? Ult Ultimore? Ultimore. Um, yeah, how, how far did you get back in the day? Or, and, or are you, like, continuing, or do you continue to play to this day? Story is oh. awesome. It's getting so good. I'm a terrible voice actor, by the way, and I keep trying, but it's really bad, so please endure. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're in the middle of Chains of Promethea. Well, at least she is, and I'm just kind of... I'm her pocket page. Yeah. So I'm just kind of taking her through. And... I have, like, absolutely no idea what is to come in this story, so... It's fun. It's been a lot of fun. Oh, uh, yeah, I remember... I, I played through uh, Chains back in the day when it was, like, relevant. I had, like, a, a static, and we met, like, twice a week to try and go through story. That was a... What a struggle, man. That, that was that was a hard expansion. Um, like, now it's like a face roll. But, uh, yeah, if we did everything, like, minimum eye level, quote-unquote, it would be very, very challenging. Blade Metsu? Is that for Paige? Oh, uh, yeah, that's his uh, the weapon skill that he gets for doing his ninja relic. I think he just completed that today. Ooh... All right, Port Bastok. Port Bastok. All right, travel to Bastok Port. Entrance, you say? Yeah, man, and the uh, the um, all the quality of life things, like the home points that they've added that you can just teleport to all the time. Oh, <laughs> so convenient. I'll never know the suffering. So convenient. We should have like, had like an early stream where I wasn't allowed to use any of the newer stuff. Ugh. It's just... I mean, the, the, the world is so big. And I mean, it's on purpose that the world is so big. They want you to feel like you're actually traveling somewhere. It but is. after a while, it's just like, oh my gosh, the traveling takes so long. <laughs> I'd be grateful it, I didn't suffer. Oh god, I've it, lost it. Yeah. I, I just zoned out to North Gustavert. Oh, is that where I'm going? Yeah. Oh. Well. And then uh, then you can mount up, which I know you'll be yes. happy about. Yes. All right. Crab or Golden Bomb? Oh, you got to go with your Golden Bomb. I think I'll Golden right. Bomb with you. All right. You're totally right. I am now obsessed with the bomb map. <clears throat> now we're Titan's balls. <laughs> yeah. We were, we were Ifrit's balls yeah, with, the, right. with the regular bomb, and now we're Titan's balls. Boom. <laughs> a couple of balls. Just a couple oh of Titan God. balls. I love their hands. Do you think if we ran into each other, we'd go cling? I wish. How <laughs> many mod that? <laughs> cling, clong. cling. <sighs> All right. My favorite thing in the game to do: get on my bomb mount and just ride across. Like random yep. maps. I fucking she loves love it. her bomb mount. You know what I don't love though? Hmm. Atomos. Oh yeah. I'm glad he's way up there. Where is he? Yeah, yeah we're 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 gonna be going by him, but we'll be able to make it so you don't see him hey, unless you want to do your. He's way back there. Why are we going this way? Do we have um, to go around. We have to go. Yeah, we have to go around. Ugh. All right. This structure thing, no. yeah. It's fine. I've been spooked already today. Um, Paige killed a spider. And he told me he found a spider and killed it. I have really bad uh -oh. arachnophobia, like really bad. And yeah, he put it in the toilet. Didn't tell me that he did that. Guess who found it? Dead in the toilet. Scared the shit out of me. 
I forgot to flush. <laughs> yeah, you totally did. Like, why would you put I, it in the toilet? Put it in the trash. I, I, well, no, I think so. I, I had to pee, so I was like, I think I'm just going to go in here and put it in the toilet, and then I'll pee, and then I'll flush, and everything will be fine. But then I got distracted thinking about whether I wanted to clip my toenails or not before I showered. And I know you're all interested in this. Like, but my heart long is story short, remembering it. I forgot to flush and the spider was still in there crumpled up and terrifying looking yeah not wrapped in a tissue or anything it was just in there and i fucking screamed i did <laughs> it was yeah. loud and Paige laughed at me big jerk i did i did a little all right do you want to visit the uh atomos for think, braveries yeah. or yeah I think, yes yep with the chest okay. pressure and everything let's go okay oh my goodness oh my god Dude, thank you! Is. LOL, spider issues! Ah! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, awesome more, thank you! Oh, nice, man. Alright, so, like, these things actually scare the shit out of me. Oh my god, my chest. <laughs> yeah, she she <laughs> literally has, like, a mild, maybe not even mild, but panic, uh, panic attacks. Yeah, and we things. were just talking about spiders, so, like, this is yeah. a lot. I'm, like, dizzy, my chest is, like... Tightening. All right. All right, we're gonna well, go let's away. Let's not overdo it. <laughs> I'm gonna have a heart at attack least, on stream. At least oh. the um the the ones that aren't moving don't bug you. Yeah, yeah, the little like, white. The dead ones, dead I guess. Ones? The ones that are, yeah, the ones that are just on the ground. Dude, Ultimore, thank you so much. Whew. Helping relieve my stress. <laughs> <laughs> <Fuck>. <laughs> okay. You're okay. All right. It's a trip. Every time I play this game, we have this moment where I talk about how much I can't stand the Atomos. I'm sure any returners here are like rolling their eyes at this point. Like, get over it. <sighs> Amazing. Face is hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, there's no more Atomos. Yeah, it seems like this game's still popping. Like, there's still people playing it. Yeah. Yeah, the story's really good. People need to come back and play this. It's really good. Yeah. It's just a lot of work to get to the story. Yeah. Like, if you don't have a pocket page, like, it can be... Yeah. It can be a challenge. Pocket page, boo. But, like, it's worth it. Like, the story is so good. Oh, yes, Hydrate, thank you. You just gotta work for I it. I should add one that says breathe, like you can redeem your points <laughs> for me to just take a hot second and relax. I'm gonna mute or deafen because I think you got a cutscene coming up. Oh, shit. Something sounded like a wheel. What is that? You guys hear that? Oh, it's like an alarm? What is that? It does not hold your hand, definitely not. Why, if it isn't the adventurer Mary, I must commend you on your insight. Dude, that's an alarm, right? What is happening? Yes, it was nearly one year, hundred years ago, too, that the Moblins wandered their way up from the bowels of Anadil. Okay, it's not just me, that's good. And then the Tarutara scientist who examined the statue in Tavnasia. What he said about the statue dug up from the labyrinth. I advise you, do not let down your guard when traveling through these caves. The Moblin's behavior is often erratic, and they can be quite nastier than their cousins on the surface. Out of all the beastmen, they seem to realize that they are the children of the Twilight, and it is this fact that drives them. Hmm. Ah yes, one of my colleagues said he spoke with a creature known as... Arnotic, deep in the eastern end of this area, the Moblins, wait, what? deep in the eastern end of this area, the Moblins call Olten Movopolis. That is a word, Movopolis. That's hard to say. Whether that beast will help you or not, I still am not convinced that this cave is truly the path to Altaio. Boy? I'm gonna strangle this kid. It cannot be. Dude, wait. Just charge in at the ghost? Are you kidding me? 
Too weak. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Ooh, some people so... coming to Ragnarok? Your friends? Sorry, Paige, I did not mean to interrupt. <laughs> no, do your do what you gotta do. Yeah. That's exciting. Do let me know if they want into the uh the link shell here. Do you have the link pearl? The thingy? I don't know what I'm doing. I should have made Paige be the leader of this. <laughs> I, I mean, I am a leader. I ha I can make pearls. Oh, good. Then who are you asking if they have a pearl? Um, Penguin. I don't remember who we gave the yeah, pearls he, to. Yeah, he he yeah he does. He was uh he was there. Oh, Zach. Zach, Zach, Zach. He was there when um you made it with um Funks and me. Uh, yeah, but did we give Penguin the sack? I don't know if I gave you the sack. So you are the sack holder, and you can create other sack holders. Like, you made me one, I'm pretty sure you made Funks one. I wouldn't be surprised if you made P Penguin one either, because we were all there. Yeah. And uh, I gave a pearl to a couple of new people that I met. I don't know if they're going to be on. <clears throat> yeah, I Okay, you, so. you might be able to turn his we... pearl into a sack. Oh, okay. Yeah, when well, <laughs> we can do that, I can, I can give you that your friends can be with us. Unless you wanted to be with them. That's up to you. But you let me know if you need a sack. <laughs> yeah. You need a big old sack. Sack. <laughs> okay. Oh, I do it. Uh, oh, hold on. Alright, walk me through it. We're gonna do it real quick. Do I just click on your name? To sack? <laughs> Sorry, that'll never get old. Yeah, that's the one. You are now a sack holder. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Hold the sack up high. Yeah, make sure never drop you share the sack. your sack with everyone. Okay, I'm sorry. We can carry on. The fucking boy is here. week i'm going uh no we're not actually gonna stay here so what um what what the louverance just ran yes we're not gonna run through this place um are we cheating our way through nah sort of so the real way to navigate through this place is you need like a party of like three or four people shake like, I don't think two of us can oh, actually do it. It's one of those. Yeah, oh, okay. there's like there's like switches that one person has to hit so someone else can go by, and then that person has to hit a switch to let the first person go. It's it's like a it's it's a whole ordeal. Gotcha. Um, so uh, I don't know if you need that book that's to the that's to the north. Um, it won't take us very long to get. And you can hop on your bomb mount again. In so here? let's go get you that. Yeah, let's go get you that book that's to the north by zoning out. <clears throat> oh. Don't drop the prickly sack. Yeah, don't do that. Might hurt somebody. And then you can get on your mount again. We're going to come back to this zone yeah. right after. Did I just I forgot that there time? was a. Uh... Huh? Did I crab it this time? Sorry. Yeah, crab it. Crab it. Crab. <laughs> Does he make little noises? Those little wiggly legs. Oh my god. Uh... Yeah, it's not very far. It's like right here. Alright. Da -da -da -da. And then you can get the book and then we're gonna come right back. We're gonna go right back to the other zone that we went to. And then you're gonna gamble. Ooh. You're gonna do a little I hate gambling. gambling. I'm bad at it and I lose a lot. Well, you're gonna you're gonna pay a certain amount of gil to tip the odds in your favor, so. Oh, Omega Mount, that would be sick. <coughs> Have that in uh, fourteen. Is it the same idea? They look different. Um, is where? It walked right up to it. 
I don't see it with my eyeball. Oh, because it freaking blends in with everything. Holy crap. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's right, it's right there. <laughs> it does kind of blend wow. in. Wow. I really didn't see it. I thought you were like fucking with me. No. I was like, because your character like walked right up to it. I was like, okay, she's I definitely got it. I didn't see the shadow or anything. I didn't see it. <laughs> Hey, if you walk on the 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 tracks here, does it does your character like freak it out? It does, yeah. It's trying to force me one way or the other. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, it's not just me. No. It's so weird. I thought I was like, I don't know, tripping out or something. Yeah, Wrong. no, I was. <laughs> All right, how are we cheesing this? We just gonna go a different way? No, there's a, there's a goblin. So we got, we got to go to a certain area of that place, and okay. there's a goblin guy that they added, um, at the beginning of this zone that we were in before. And if you gamble with him, and if you win, um, he just teleports you there. What? what? Oh, I'm stuck on a bird. I'm coming. <clears throat> I don't know, man. This theme song is going to be forever bomb mount music. Oh my god, that crab is so freaking cute. <laughs> I'm going to buy that one next. <laughs> Was it the goblin we saw when we came in? I think it's Twink Bricks here, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm getting cutscene. What? Arr, show yourself. I know you're there. Draw your weapon and face your fate like a true warrior. What the hell? Okay. Insignificantly, prepare to hear the roar of Guzzo Thunderblade. Oh dear. Fight. Don't run away. I was only playing with you. <laughs> 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 I couldn't fight you on any empty stomach like this anyway. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Guzo, officer of the 7th Wolverine Armored Division of Kodov, Shield Warriors. Or should I say former officer? I'm what you'd call a deserter. Oh no, he deserted your, your dudes. I'm not proud of it, but I did what I had to. Day after day, I watched as hundreds of my troops would be slaughtered by the waves of adventurers pouring- Holy shit, what is all this? It's gone. Pouring in? Something about Mithril. That was a lot of text. <laughs> um, what is this? Do, is this MSQ? I, I don't remember- I don't know what this is. I, I don't think I got this shit. Okay, something about Mithril. Why didn't the- Adamant King and tried to make peace with the children of Altana, but twisted sense of pride made him so stubborn. I was tired of being a pawn for a leader whose ideals conflicted with mine, so I gathered up a handful of beast troops and left the shield warriors behind me. However, it was not long before the guilt of pleasure, guilt and pressure of being wanted Mean bore down on the already waiting so What is this? Sorry, I'm trying to read ahead a little bit. But what a caught off who has known nothing. That is why I came here too much. Uh. Sir, who are you? Oh, he's talking about sacks. Hold on. I paid a goblin scribe a sack full of mithril oil, or to write me a recommendation, and now all I have to do is take the application box located somewhere in this mess of scaffolding and rock. You wouldn't happen to know your way around this place, would you? Uh, no, Paige does, though. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Did I say F- minus or A+. Plus? Uh, uh, I don't, I don't know, it's up to you. Your cutscene. <laughs> um... It's a side okay, quest? It's, it's a side quest, yeah. I wonder what the prereqs are because I never I don't think I ever got this cutscene. Uh shall I A plus it? What do you think, chat? I actually don't know what to do here. I assume that A plus? Alright, we're going for it. You don't say, well then I have a proposition for you. Let's see as if you already you already may know, we quad of don't have a good eyesight. We mainly rely on our hearing as a set of sensory organs that prevent us from getting lost. However, 
A magnetic field created by all this crazy mobile equipment has been sending my sense of direction haywire. And I've navigated... I've tried navigating the tunnels here, but I always end up back in the same spot. Uh-oh, are we gonna have to, like, beckon quest him? Like those stupid leave quests in 14? Oh god, maybe. And that's why I need your help. If you can really traverse the Mobley tunnels as well as you say you can, you should have no trouble in delivering my recommendation to the application box. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm so if you it. if you if you accept it, I don't know. I don't. I doubt it's gonna force me to do it right now, right? Are there I timer quests in this game? I have no idea. <laughs> you will? I don't know how to thank you. How about gold? I heard it is quite valuable in your world as well. Wait, we're not heading to the Mobopolis to pick any fights with the Mobleys. If you were walked in the inn looking like that, there might be more on. Uh oh. You gonna change what I look like and that's the last thing I need? No! What you need is a disguise. What if you were to make one of those strange masks those Mowglies are always wearing? There must be a few softbacks in one of your towns. Oh, okay. I don't know if I can trust your type, but... Uh, then I don't know if I can trust anyone right now. I'll be here waiting for you, adventurer. Ah, this is a long side quest. Whew. So he said I can't do the quest because my face is ugly. Yeah. So we're not going to do that right now, but maybe later. <laughs> <laughs> well, that All was right, a curveball. Talk, talk to this guy. What's up, Twink? Twink Bricks. Why would they name him Twink Bricks? Hey, you. Ever been to the mine shafts all the way beyond Newston? The big bosses of this place don't want nobody's going back there, so he broke off the liver. To the main gate. Oh, that's not very nice. Owls, I could give you this here spare lever, but I'm s gonna need some zins something something. So gamble, right? Sylvan stone. Yeah, there's another way. Uh, if you really want, I could. Oh, I see. So you'd have to have that stone, or I can gamble right now. Yeah. I see. But if you really want, blah blah blah. I'll give you a chance. All right, we're not gonna. We're not gonna eat all this. What do I do? Trade him, Gil? Yeah, trade him ten thousand. That'll inc that'll be the highest chance of you winning. It makes it a little less than a fifty percent chance of winning. Uh, wait. I can do this ten thousand. Yeah, you can do less than ten thousand, but it'll decrease your chances of winning. Hell no. Go big or go home. The rules are simple. I throw those two 50 sided dice. If the total is between 2 and 50, you win. Here's we go! This doesn't seem very fair. 47! Woo! The close one. Oh, did you win? Yeah. Hmm, these oh, dice good. must be fixed, but a deal's a deal. Take this! Oh, he's gonna give me 2,000 gills back? Good guy. No, he's he's saying you can he can teleport you for a two thousand kill. <sighs> Game. <laughs> so I so, trade him another two thousand. Yeah. Oh my god, <clears throat> fucking gobbies. God. Let me go. They clink. like clink clink. They do like clink clink. They like the clink clink. Hold on, Upworlder. I'm holding on. <clears throat> Thanks, buddy. Wee. They love money. <laughs> My hard-earned gill. That was like a whole quest worth of gill. All right, and then um, run backwards because I think there is a uh, a crystal. Because there's no map of this place, but I think if we zone back, say. there'll be a Safe warp here. crystal. I'm pretty sure. This doesn't spit us out somewhere weird. We can't no, it won't. Back. A precious gill. Yeah, there's a crystal right there. Good thing I like gobby so much. Got it. Alright, back in here. No, there's no way I spent it. I am like a hoarder of gill. I don't want to spend it. I think I bought some spells. 
for white mage when I was leveling my white mage. But I haven't really bought anything else. I've got plenty of money I could give her too. Yeah, I have probably plenty. I forget how to check it, actually. Whee! Oh, I'm All right, click room. on the shaft entrance and enter <laughs> the battlefield a century of hardship. Battle! <clears throat> Two max cash stacks. Wait, a century of hardship, yeah? Yes, a century of hardship. Crazy. Is that from crafting? Strut, strut, strut. Here I come, bitches. My pocket page. Oh, don't even get me started, kids. I just paid one of your friends 12,000 gil to get back here. <laughs> Prometheus Reborn! Prometheus Reborn! He's stronger than Hume Hume! He's more powerful than ugly goddess goddess! God, get out of here. Yum, yeah, your, your you. voice acting is going to be very tested with these guys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do for goblins. Yeah, I mean, I don't I'm not know. a great voice actor. I just fucking do. You want me it. to try to do one of them? Because I'm in this cutscene too. Sure, whoever you want. All right. Well, you 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 sample all four of them, and then you tell me which one you'd rather me do. <laughs> okay, we'll take him. Moblins don't break promises. We'll take him to Sparkly Place. Yep, this is the one you're gonna do. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> You guys see I this? I don't know if you can read it. He, he like doesn't use vowels. No. Nope. <laughs> Good luck. Yes. Sparkly place for the, the north underwater to merge because to fill with rocks. <laughs> but squeeze digs. Moblins don't. Oh, holy shit! That's s's. Hold on. <laughs> he pluralizes everything. Okay. <laughs> But we digs, moblins don't spreaks promises. We takes Prometheus <laughs> to sparkly places. Yikers. I never imagined we would meet Celtius in this place. However, what could these creatures be jabbering about? Pua! <laughs> the fuck is that? Who are you people? Oh, is this this guy? Is that who the yeah. question marks was? Yeah, I think so. Do you know who that boy is? A Galka? I am Jabos. I have lived with the Moblins for a long, long time. A long time in peace. But lately, the Moblins act strangely. They praise the Twilight, God. They attack the children of Altana. But I'll stop them. I promise, moblins don't break promises. This guy's weird. Now go, leave the rest to me. Is he supposed to just be like slow talker boy? But... I think so, yeah. Oh my god. Look who the fuck it is, y'all. Out of the way, Mackie's coming through. Out of the way, Cookie's coming through too. Eh? Wait right there. Why, you are those pesky children from Tavsna Tavnesia. Whoa, it's the funny looking boy. Whoa, I told you we shouldn't have taken that shortcut. Whoa, who cares? Let's catch him. Yay. God, squish them. I love them <laughs> though. Let's squish them. Mayri, this is the perfect opportunity to take Celtius into custody. We cannot pass it up. And my friends are running away from me again. Good god. Nice job with that one goblin. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> he has more lines later. Oh my god, we have to do that more? Oh, I wish I was better at like having voices. I just kind of do the same one. Shall I Fenrir, or does it not matter? Yeah, might as well. Uh, Jabos uh, has a pretty big part 
<laughs> in this. Just oh, FYI. Okay. Uh, I always forget what this darn thing is called. It's Growl. I have to remember that. It's freaking Growl. Growl. Urgh. Let's go. Gonna fuck him up! Whew. How do we defeat these midgets? Kick them! Yeah, punch them <laughs> like footballs. The party window? Yeah, that's 14 mad mod. Mad mod? Mod mad. I need to get the friggin' text one. I know you were having trouble setting it up, Paige. It's Bugby. Aww. Feel bad killing them. Hey, I get you good. Guess I'll just do things that I don't really know. I have yeah. not studied up on my Fenrir. Okay. Oh yeah, I can do another ward. Rawr! Then I guess get rid of them, or should I keep them out to attack? Uh, just you just keep him out and let him. Oh, he's him. tanking. Yeah. Oh, can I heal him? No. Really? I don't think so. Aw. Wait. Yeah, I can. Right? Come on, heal. No. Nothing. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. It's been a long time. Yeah, I don't. Oh, well, he's gonna die. So there's that. Well, you can just summon him again. You're right. Am I gonna get aggro though? Oh no, I no. guess not. Ooh, somebody else got aggro. Rion, nice! <laughs> Clearly is a bug baby. I should not stand in front of the boss. Probably shouldn't even stand near a boss. <sighs> Panic is real when I fight. Work! Well, I hope you have a good work day or night. Thanks, Ultimore! See you later! Alright, later, man. Thanks for uh, hanging out yeah. and chatting. Hopefully, uh, we stream on uh, Tuesdays, too. Same time, 7 yeah. and 9 ish. Tuesday, Saturday. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh boy, these kids. Is that all you got? I could beat you with one hand. I am little shits. She teleported herself the wrong way, instead of teleporting somebody else. It's time for tickle torture! Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> ah! Ah, stop right there! Hey! Did he just throw a bomb at them? Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, what? Hey, hey! Let us out of here! Let us out! Talking. Is that the other? Oh no, that's the. Oh, it's this kid, the Mo goblin. Yeah. My goodness. What's this? Oh, three tar taro look tasty, tasty. We're delegates from Juno. You touch us, you're toast. We're delegates from Juno. If you don't let us delegate, you'll be toast. Shut up! Shut up! 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 Noisy tar taro give moblin moblin moblins headache. Be quiet or I cut your throat throats! Delegates? Would you not happen to have been sent here by Nagmalada, would you? Wait, everyone, calm down. Listen to me. Jabo Jabo, what do you want? That boy, he's... he's not Promethea. He looks nothing like Promethea. Huh? Doesn't look like Promethea? You know what he looks like? Yes, I've seen Promethea. His statue. Statues? Oh, that's statues! The ones that got stolen! 
Katze. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw it too, too. It looked like noth nothing like the boy boy. But, but, boy boy used the dark, dark power, just like the legend says. Yes, but there is no crystal on his chest. He cannot be the real Promethea. And you weren't created by Promethea anyway. Jabble, Jabble, don't start, start with that again. Jabbles, Jabbles believe words from Dawn Goddess. <laughs> Jabus is fooled by bad people! Bad people must pay! Feed them for Tai Sai's dinner! Yikes! If you do that, we won't be able to trade you Prometheus statue! No Prometheus statue! Statue? Taru Taru, you have the statue of Twilight God? Haru, you dug a Promethea statue? Yeah, we know all about the white statue. Yeah, you want that statue, you trade us the boy. Yeah, trade us the boy. Moblins want the statue statue? It's written in Moblin legend legend. But we can't give them reincarnates of Promethea. <laughs> But Prometheus strong, we give him to Taru Taru. Maybe he can come back in this win. <laughs> Prometheus angry. Prometheus getting away. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, wait! My reward's running away! Ah! Open the, open, open the... My reward's getting away! Wait, I'll let you out. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, why would you let them out? Choa, travelers, this place is dangerous. You should leave right away. The Moblins are upset. Who knows what they might do. There is an exit over there. Don't look back. Run. And don't, don't tell anyone what you heard or saw here. Don't. I do not think that will be possible. Mr. Jabos, of what the Moblins said, there is still much that troubles me. What were they talking of with the boy? You must tell us. It may aid us in fighting Celtius and bringing him into custody. Oh, ah, uh, so you know of the boy. I too wish to know more. We must go to Bastok. That's it! Master Sid may know more of what is going on. I shall lead the way to the metalworks. There you can inform us of what you know. Mary, I will meet you again in Sid's laboratory. Great! My character so just like, has nothing to say during all of that. No! Mm -hmm. I'm just chilling. I'm here for the ride, y'all. Let's yeah, go. It's it's just like you're the warrior of like, yeah. <laughs> just nothing to say. Oh, I didn't even get you... like any dialogue choices. <laughs> not even one. I'm just watching no. the show. Occasionally you nod or you give some input, mm -hmm. but yeah. Or they pan Mostly on my you're... face where I'm just dead faced. Mm hmm. All right, we can uh, warp because I assume you know where we need to go next. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Good Excuse gravy. Me. Sorry. Not that. I was gonna say, who speaks without vowels? Oh, yeah. That that guy was a hard, uh... <laughs> it's hard to figure out what he's saying, 
Mm. And then and then reading it is also difficult. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Thanks for taking that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like when, as soon as it popped up, you were like, yep. 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 This is the one that you're going to do. Mm -hmm. You're doing this one. <laughs> Um, metal works. Two. No. One. Right? Yes, why one. Why do I always, you know why? Because on the map, one is on the right and two is on the left, and I want it to be the other uh, one. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. why. Okay. That cutscene was exhausting, kind of. What the hell? Friggin' gobbies. Yeah, they all talk weird. <clears throat> and the kids were there too? Yup. And then the slow talking Galka Jabos. Now we get to go talk to Shed. Shed. <laughs> Alright, Sid. You still making CDs, bud? Of course. Or textures. That was bad, man. Dead. What? You say you're looking for Louverance? I'm sorry, I haven't seen him around since he left. <laughs> Uncle Sid? Cornelia? Uncle Sid! A pack of angry goblins attacked the steaming sheep restaurant. Master Ogby drove them away, but not before they injured some of the guests. Uh-oh. Not our fault. Goblins in Bastok is Hilda, all right. Mary, come with us right away. Jabos has been taken back to Mavopolis. Movalpolis. I keep saying that wrong. Jabos? Oh, this guy knows him. Jabos, who's that? A Galka who has been living with the Moblins in Mavopolis. Ovalpolis. For the past century, he has watched over the creatures, trying to convince them to live in peace with those in the world above their dark caves. Forget about that man. He has forgotten his roots. Throw away his identity. He is no longer a Galka. Please? The Moblins attacked him? Hmm. Probably his own fault. It may be, but we cannot look the other way. Without the assistance of the of Jabos, we may never catch Celtius. Oh, Mary, we must hurry back to the underground city. Okay, well, this was a quick trip to see how to sit. Whatever, dude. Okay. Don't give up on your friend like that? Yeah. Big scaredy cat? I know, what a jerk. Uh, okay, so we kind of have to go back to that Movopolos place. Sure, but there's a crystal and now, right? There is. Um, we have to go to like a specific spot, though, because we we got to kill Moblins, unfortunately. Aww. <laughs> I know, because we have to farm a gold key. Uh, just one, though, for you, so you can get a cutscene. Can't I just pay them gil for it? Yeah, I wish, because they do love money, I know. Head to the, the, the trade the gold key. The, the, okay, gold key. They drop from the Moblins near the Oldton Movopolis zone. So let me just look at my map here. Okay. So I know we go to the right place. Okey Apologies for the lull. No problem. <sighs> I feel worn out after that cutscene. Yeah. Hmm. Near the old tin zone. Yes, hydrate. Thank you. Let's see. I feel like I remember running around this place a little bit. All right. Let's go back to that crystal. Okay. What region? Great question. <laughs> it might just say, like, uh, Movopolos region. That might be the region. Okay. So look for that, and I'll look for ah, it too, and I'll you're right. tell you if I find it. Was I right? Mine was on page two. Newton Movopolis. 
Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Okay. Bugbear. Go on. Sliding down in my chair. Yeah, we may have to navigate a little bit through this place. That's fine. I'm, I, I remember having to do something like that when I was doing this by myself. I've never but done that. I was able to get there. You may need an invisible, but I know you have that. My shadow. They drop from moblins near the Oldton Movopolis zone. Oldton zone. Sneak and invisible? <laughs> uh, probably, well, it might as well put on both, but I think it's just the goblins here, so they're invisible. All right. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we can get over there. Bugbear Strongman is up. Leave him for people he is for empty daggers. Yeah. I don't need none of that. I don't need no NMs. Uh, oh, I'll pull out uh, some trust, so. Because I'm going to put invisible on too, just in case, so I don't have to check things. Hmm. So I'll pull out some trust so you can follow okay. those. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, if you want to look at your map. Yes, I'm looking. I believe we are headed uh, east. Uh, no, west. <laughs> like northwest. Where I was like, oh, Old that's Ten easy. <laughs> Movopolo. Uh, right, yeah. Where it says Old Ten Movopolos. Ow, that's far. Yeah, I don't think it's too bad. And there's gates. There are, um... <laughs> what are these, uh, goblins check to you? Because they're easy prey to me. Incredibly tough. Aha. Uh -huh. Wow. Hey! How's it going? Mm -hmm. You can't see me. You can't smell me either, because you got a mask on. <laughs> Do they ever show you the goblins' real faces in this game? Not that I'm aware of, like, maybe, but uh, these goblins look a little bit different than, um, like, this dude. He's got, like, machine machinery on his back. Yeah, but their faces are all the same, yeah? Yeah. He's just got a different mask on. Yeah. I was very surprised to see their faces in 14 on the first. On the mm, first version yes. of them that didn't wear their masks. Yep. I was not expecting that. I was expecting a nose. <laughs> like a big mm. schnoz. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's not at all what they look like. <laughs> They're so cute. I like the music here. Yeah, it's not bad. I could live here. Live with the gobbies. Yeah, a little go goblin land. Oh boy. What's up? I don't know. I think this is the right way. Like, I don't know if those things rotate. I don't know. You know, like, I just don't know. And if they do rotate, I don't know how to rotate them. Don't look like it would. The floor, you mean? Ooh, that's Bugbear. Is he gonna see me because he's an NM? Uh, he's not- that's not an NM. He saw me? No, he didn't! Oh god, that scared me! <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's probably just walking. <gasps> I thought he was walking towards me. He's hold on. <laughs> oh god. Bless me. Um, we're just gonna pause here for a second. I'm just gonna look up the gold key and just see what monsters it drops off of because they might be on our way. Okay. <laughs> to where we need to go. Okay. Does this do change? Yeah, the circles do change. Great. It's awesome. Do you know how they change? Is it like on a timed thing or the furnace hatch? Blue spots on the map. Maybe the purple boxes. Yeah, it might be. Levers and stuff, yeah. Complicated shit. Oh. Um okay. Well, let's look out for 
Moblin, draftsman, lengthsman, foreman, fireman, workman, yardman, packman, tankman. Oh dear. <laughs> you have that list open, right? Because no way I'm going to remember that. Hey, I do, yeah. Because we just need, if we can just get that key. Engineman, tankman. The strong man is the NM for bugbear. Does that mean like if you kill him, it spawns the other one? Uh, maybe, yeah. Uh... There's bugbear, right? Bugbear deathsman. Yeah, he's not an NM, so I think okay. we're okay. Oh, there's... Oh, I see. Because there's a trash man, too. Okay. I, I think we can fall off here and uh, keep going straight. Okie dokie. Bugbear trashman. Ooh, I think there's foreman there's one, and yeah. lengthman. Yep. I'm gonna stay back here, because I'm scared. Yeah, that's fine. They're incredibly tough to me. Yeah, you can you can just uh, stay and I'll kill these things. Oh, okay. I'm gonna stay back here in the corner that you walked away from. Yeah, that's fine. As long as you keep your invisible and shit up, you should be fine. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, I like the battle music for chains. Yeah, it's nice. I bet I can't see you from this far away. <laughs> so uh, these moblins sometimes take out frying pans and Aww. bash you with them. <laughs> Am I safe? Or should I stay? I mean, yeah, you're 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 safe. Is that the way we're going, or are you just killing things? Uh, I'm just killing things. <gasps> well, that trash man got mad at you. Yeah, he did. Mm -mm. It's okay. They don't. They they check easy prey to me. I'll be fine. I'm sorry, bugbear. I'm not. I'm sorry, goblins. Page is on a rampage. I'm on a rampage poo. Yeah. No. Wait. <laughs> no. Yeah. Boom, boom. No key? No key. Follow, follow. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Tankman. I have a minute on one of my things. Should I re refresh now? Yeah, you can probably refresh as long as you're not in uh, eyesight of uh, anything else. Should be fine. Refreshing. Think. Oh no, I had to click off sneak. Right? To redo sneak, yeah. Ah, F. Alright, I gotta do it again. Gosh darn it. Damn, I thought I just got aggro because I went uninvisible. That music started and <laughs> it scared me. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. Shantoto power! Ooh. The real Reaper. It's called Lessons of Pain. Yeah, Lesson in Pain. <laughs> Love it. Uh, there is an elemental here, just be careful. Ooh. Got another tankman here. Please don't hit me. Oh, nice job, Melee. Fucking AoE. Ah. Uh, uh oh. Did I get hit by something? Oh no, I got Yeah. <laughs> the, he did a conal AoE. Oh, it's a par uh, paralysis. I think I have Paralina, do I? Stop it! They keep casting. Oh wait, somebody erased? Does Melee have that? Uh, she probably used Paralina on you. Oh, I was looking for it. I have it. Da 
Give me key. Give me key. Give me key. Yes, please. I don't want to kill you guys anymore. Well, I don't want Paige to kill you guys anymore. <laughs> Sorry, it's gotta happen. Otherwise, we can't Crispy go through the story. <laughs> the ability yeah. name, Crispy Candle. Yeah, it's like a firework. I'm gonna pass shit. Yeah, you can you can pass shit. Oops. Pretty much all that shit in there you can pass. That's for you. You take these clusters. I'm just passing everything. Oh. <clears throat> Fireman. That later. Draftsman. Place is cool Roar. looking. Yeah. It's the Moblin's home. Kinda homey. For goblins. Kinda what? Like, if I was a goblin, I certainly would want to live here. Yeah. It's kind of like a big giant pit. They, they dig real deep. Yeah. I guess so. They dug all this, huh? Yep. With machines, I would guess. I would assume, yeah. They seem very, like, uh... Punk. Punk? Steampunky. Steampunky, yeah. Oh, I see. The gates now. I was thinking the whole floor would shift, but... Probably just the gates, right? Uh, that's my assumption. Interesting. They're being really stingy with their keys. They are, aren't they? And move out bullets. Ooh. Yeah, Treon, nice. Alright, one of you guys got to give up a key. Gold key, there it is. You want me to take it, or are you going to take it? No, you have to take it, so make sure your okay. inventory has uh, got the space. Yep, I got space. Measure. E. Hip. Pass. Yep. Armor. Pass. The mask. Yay! Ah. You Ooh, got it! It changes it. Great. Okay. Um. We can uh, warp oh. again. Wait, we don't have to go up. Okay, we're warping. Yeah, I think you basically have to go back to that, um, like where we did that fight, and then you trade the gold key to that, and you get another cutscene. I did not think it was gonna let me warp while invisible. Oh yeah, you can. That's crazy. Does it uninvisible you right at the last second? Yeah, as you can use an item. Can you die? While you're invisible. Yeah. But as, uh, hey Roy Cop. Hi Roy. But as soon as you use the thing, you become visible again. But like, okay, so in process of warping, if I use that and something aggroes me because I uninviz, can I die in teleport if it's strong enough to one shot me? Yep. <gasps> So Dang. basically, what, so if the warp goes off, but you suffer a fatal blow as the warp is going off, it's possible to zone from the warp, and you'll just arrive dead wherever <laughs> your home point is. <laughs> and and then yeah, oh, what what man. Penguin just added there, like when you, this happens a lot, like when you were lower level, if you got aggroed by an orc or something, and you ran all the way back to Sandoria, uh, and he was like smacking you on the way. As you're zoning, as the game is loading, your character is still idly standing there, and right. he can just whack at you like once or twice more. Oh my God. So he can deliver a killing blow as you are zoning, and you'll just zone in dead. <laughs> no. Which is stupid. How's it going, Roy? You painting your your what is it called? I forget the name of the monster. Thing you printed. The name of that monster. Oh, the golem? Yeah. Stone golem? Golem. Engagement photo shoot? Your engagement? What? 
rats? Yeah, it's for me and Roy Cup. Oh! That's where I went today. See, I didn't go to the dump. I haven't touched. I've been non-stop working. Oof. And yes, yours, dude. Congrats. I'm glad it's not Paige. <laughs> for your sake. <laughs> Baby, I'm gonna butter your bread. Oh, dear. <laughs> right. Keep it family right. friendly. You're going to uh, Movopolis uh, Crystal again. Okay. And then you're gonna zone into uh, Mineshaft 2716, which is the place that we had that fight. And then um, instead of clicking on the mine shaft gate, you're going to trade the gold key to it. So I want to, uh, now I'm teleporting here, I'm going to go out the exit? Yeah, you're going to run uh, east. Okay. Actually east this time. East? Mm-mm. East? Alright. And then... <clears throat> and then run all the way to the mineshaft uh, gate. Run it! And you're not going to click on it, you're actually going to target it and then trade the gold key to it. Oh yeah, that's what the key is for. For another cutscene. And unfortunately, I can't read any goblin talk for you, because I'm not going to be watching this cutscene along with you. Oh no. So I'm gonna deafen, so good luck if that goblin doesn't use fouls in there. Gold key. Here I go. Thanks. Like this guy. Ooh. Why have you returned? I have nothing more to say to you. Don't worry, I will convince the Moblins. I just need more time. More time. Come to your senses, man. You've been trying to convince these creatures for the past 100 years. They have not listened to you before and they are not about to listen to you anytime soon. The beastmen were born from a seed different than you and I. They will never understand our logic, and we will no never understand theirs. Uh. Yes, there are a few individuals on both sides that learn to feel for the other. However, when the species unite as one, their nature takes control. The will of the group overrides the will of the individual. This will is their destiny, a destiny that cannot be altered. The boy we are after, Celtius, the Moblins will never betray him because that is the will of their species. And the will of their species is that of the Twilight God, Promethea. It is the same will that Celtius inherited over 10,000 years ago. No, you are wrong. The Moblins are merely blind. Blind to the truth. They were tricked. Tricked? Tricked into what? Listen to me. Long, long ago, the Moblins were searching. Searching for an iron giant bathed in light. Their legend, it says, the giant, iron giant, he will give them power. So the Moblins began digging. But what they found, it wasn't the iron giant. It was a stone statue. But they believed it was what they had been searching for. So no matter how much they prayed, no matter how many offerings they gave, the statue gave them nothing in return. To learn the reason why they had left the caves and began to attack people, they would kidnap and pillage all to find an answer. I knew I must try to stop them, so I set out on a journey to learn of the statue. The statue? 
It was not long before I learned it. it was not the Iron Giant, but Promethea. I told this to the Moblins, hoping they would understand and change their ways. But I was wrong. I had opened Pandora's box. The Moblins started to believe they were the children of Promethea, and that it was their destiny to hate destroy the children of Altana. And that is why you remain here with the Moblins, to convince them of their misunderstanding, to, represent, to repent for your sins. Jabos, you need not burn in yourself with such futile efforts to shake unwavering destinies. The Moblins would have eventually realized they were born of the Twilight God. No, no. The Tavnasian priest told me. Our legend was wrong. The Moblins were not born of the Twilight. <gasps> Preposterous! Are you to have me believe that an official from Tavnasian Cathedral denied the teachings of Altana? I have never heard such an outrageous thing. Are you in your right mind, man? I know only what I heard. The priest, he helped me. He said, Twilight God died long before the Beastmen were born. But he will return and bring the end of the world. He also told me to continue searching for the true Iron Giant. And when I found him, the slumbering gods would show me the truth. Then she rid this place of the statue. With their statue gone, the Moblins returned to their caves and began digging once more in search of the Iron Giant in peace. Until they found the crystal. The crystal that breathes life into Vanadil. Gasp! Jabo! Jabo! Why didn't you tell us? Echo Chook. Jabos, we heard everything. Jibs, Jibs didn't tell Moblins the truth. Jibs betrayed Moblins. Overmook. Trickle talk. Jabos, we are very mad. Very, very mad. Jabo, Jabo, we never been this mad mad before. Jabo never, never lied to us us before. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Yes, I lied to you. I was told you were children of Promethea, but I couldn't believe. That's why I kept searching. Searching for someone who would tell me the truth. Searching for... The real god. Ah, boys, you can't fool us again. You can't trick us again. Jibs, Moblin have nothing to say. Jibs. I have no idea what he's saying. Wait, I... Jabos is good... Good by... What? Good by ongos? <laughs> good bang. Goodbye, Bongo! Is that how they say goodbye? Biongo? Goodbye, Biongo? Oh, oh, he's so sad. <laughs> it's all the official. Oh god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Wait! Tabos, what did they say? Where are you going? I must go. They told me goodbye. And come with us! Tabos, your strength and will to save the Moblins. Why not use that ability to save us as well? Save us? Just as the Moblins are bound by the chains of Promethea, the children of Altana too are in danger of meeting the same fate. 
If the chains are merely part of the Twilight God's curse, then possibly what you said is true. The Moblins are not the children of Promethea, but simply diseased by his evil will. The chains of Promethea? Idle drop. Come, Jabos, let us meet with Sid and derive a plan to rid our world of the Twilight's darkness once and for all. Alright, I will help you to save them. Not us, them. My friends, the Moblins. You lied to us. They said bye to him. They said something to him. Yeah, what the it was fuck the was that word? It was the Moblin's word for goodbye. Goodbye, Biongo. Good Biongo. I don't know how they said it. Yeah, it was like their language, I guess. That's pretty sad. Yeah. He's just trying to help and they didn't want to listen and Sorry man. Um yeah. All right, back to uh Sid. Return right. to Sid once again to finish this path. A war so that's the end. <laughs> That'll be en the end of Louverance's path. Oh, he'll be happy about that cuz he hasn't wanted me to follow him from the start. <laughs> yeah, he he likes doing shit all on his own. <laughs> And then the last path that we haven't done is uh, Tenzin. I miss Prish. Yeah, she'll be back. Better be. She'll be back. Better works. The Prish or Prish? My head wants to say I, Prish. I say Prish. Everyone I've ever spoken to has also said Prish. Um, so it's, it's uh, I say Prish, but I mean, <clears throat> Prish isn't that far off. Prish. Oh, is his friend going to be Angie? The other Galka? Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Let me in. Gonna uh, I'm gonna to deafen Ooh, again, for cutscenes. <laughs> fish. Fish? Fish the fish. I don't know, with the E at the end, I want to call her Preesh. Look at him staring at Babos. He's angry, that other Galka is. So let me get this straight. The Keeper of the Apocalypse is actually the reincarnation of the Twilight God? And we're to have to f and we're going to have to fight him? This is not turning out like I wanted it to. Celtius is gone. He left Ovalpolis. Moblins don't know anything. But my friends, they believe he will return, so they continue to dig. They will show him the way to the crystal. I see. But considering their previous actions, I think it would be a wise idea to keep a watch on them. Who knows what they might try next. If they were to find a way to the fifth mother crystal before we do, the consequences could be immeasurable. The moblins, my friends, wouldn't... Master Sid, we have neither the time nor resources to engage the Moblins. Currently, we must face the problem before us, Bahamut and his plan to destroy mankind. If the Moblins are digging this tunnel for the boy, then chances are that he will return when they are finished. And when he does return, that is our perfect opportunity to catch him. That's true, but I think of, but think of the implications. A path to the fifth crystal will be opened. All right. First, we wait for everyone else to get back. There are still quite a few f uh, things Prish needs to clear up. I myself am going to need a little more time to finish my work. 
Your work? What are you up to, old man? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? I'm making my wings. According to some inside information I just happened to stumble across, Bahamut is hiding out beyond the Sea of Clouds, higher than any man's ever flown. If I tried to take my baby CID up there in her current state, she'd be torn to pieces in the turbulence. No, there's a few more things I've got to teach her before we have our date in the heavens. Excellent. When do you think she'll be ready? Hold your horses there, Louverance. I'm working as fast as I can. I have some of the best craftsmen in Vanadil on the project. And until we're done, we need you and Movalpolis keeping an eye on those moblins. Do you think you can handle that? You need not worry, Master Sid. Jabos has provided me with much information on his subterranean companions. And very few of my friends will also be lending their hands. I know everything about Movalpolis. I know everything about Moblin. Alright then, it looks like we found the right man for the job. By the way, have you heard anything regarding Lady Prish? While searching for information on Altaio, I learned of a group of Mithra called uh, known as Sin Hunters. I am not sure of the details, but I believe they originally traveled from their Mithran homeland to catch Cardinal Meldarian and punish her for her past crimes. However, now that they're uh, now that the three believe that Cardinal is dead, they search for Prish to have her atone for the sins of Meldarian. Ah. Uh. Olmia just came by a few days ago with a few of those trackers. They said they had found Prish, but that she had got away before they could uh, finish their business. They also said that when she escaped, she took a large chunk of magicite known as the Star of Tavnasia with her. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? Star of Tavnasia? It was said to have been lost 20 years ago during the Great War. You say that Lady Prish possesses it. But what could the, uh, but where could she have run off to? And that's exactly why we're stuck like a chocobo in the mud. Omiya hasn't slept for days, the poor child. Well, all we can do is wait for Tenzin to come back and pray that he has found something. Mary, Tenzin said he was heading for the Lathen Plateau to find Carbuncle. Why don't you try joining him? Why don't I just try summoning him? Y'all never ask me anything. Ace Louise. <laughs> um, did you talk to Sid again just to make sure you started Tenzin's path? <clears throat> I'll do that right now. Yeah, do that right now. What are you gonna do, Mary? I'm a fine Celtius. Tenzin, he said something about going to ask the assistance of Carbuncle. Yeah, I know. Carbuncle's <laughs> my friend. Alright, what does this guy have to say? Hold on. Hey, jerk. Brought your friend back. Oh! Shit, he's giving me a cutscene. Oh wait, wait, what? He talks just like Jabos? Critical propulsion unit, hooded scientist. Oh no, he doesn't. <laughs> Remember that you're not to tell anyone that the chief is building a new airship. Currently, the Grand Duchy of Juno is in conjunction with the air travel. In conjunction with the air travel agency, has formed a monopoly on all forms of air tra travel. Compensate against Juno's empire in the skies, we must reinforce our research in aeronautic development. However, if the duchy were to learn of our actions, they would not be pleased. And that is why we must not draw any attention to ourselves by collecting large quantities of materials at one time. Oh, he's asking me for lumber. No, I wanted you to say I'm sorry <laughs> for what you said about Jabos. Okay, he's got um he's got CDs to keep printing there, yeah, so he's, he's got some work to do. I'm out of here. Okay, so Tenzen went to Lathine Plateau, so we need to go to G six in Lathine. Am I teleporting to the book right outside the Atomos? Um, is that a teleport book? There is, yeah. Then uh, yes. Great. SIDS. CIDs. Let me double check. See if there's anywhere else I can go. Wait, where is it? Yep. Probably already passed it. I have to go to a book. Is there a book I here? I don't know. 
I don't know if Lathine... Does Lathine have a warp book? Doesn't it? See, I see IDs. <laughs> yes! Get back into it! <laughs> yes, Roy! <laughs> <laughs> um... Uh, Roy, sorry if I, um... I've asked this before, but I just I keep forgetting. Um, how far did you get in this game when you were, like, playing it? Just curious. Mine's I've probably asked you, like, a hundred oh, times. Okay. <clears throat> mines. Mines. What mines? Oh, I'm missing pieces Oh, there. Here. Yes, yes, you are. <laughs> yeah. Should I go get those really quick, or just ignore them till later? It, I mean, it's up to you. So they're kind of out of the way in Bastok Mines. They're in, like, odd spots. And I'll get them if I ever go over there. Okay. That Yeah, they're just in weird areas. Art way um, Seekers. Nice. Yeah, I, I never... I don't, I don't remember anything of Seekers of Adolin. That's very right. I don't think I have this book either. Oh, there is one in Lathine. Yep. It's it's right by Jugner Forest. It is nowhere near. Oh. It is nowhere near the Atomos. <laughs> this one. It's a it's survival guide. So whatever the survival guide is. I will meet you out there. Okay. And then you can mount um, up. Original. Lathine. Latu. Up and away! Oh, it's windy here. The wandering Atomos? Is that a joke? Is there a moving one? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Not that I know of. That's terrifying to think about. Oh my god, this crab is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, the crab is so uh, good! I haven't summoned him yet. Oh, oh my bomb. god! This poor thing. Ah, uh, yes. I ride on a golden bomb. <laughs> golden throne? Nay! I ride with a golden explosive between my legs. That's fucking right I do. <laughs> Don't mess with me, I'll kill me and you. Be a gold goldness explosion. Hey, no worries, penguin. You know how much I like mounting. Oh, G six. All right, so G six is going to be a very uh, memorable place for you. Yes, it should be. Oh, is it in the crevasse? Nope. Oh, G six. Is it the summoner one? Like uh, yeah, circle? it's where you went. Yeah, it's where you went when you got uh, Carbuncle. And when then you got we your didn't first... get to see the uh, <clears throat> rainbow because the rainbow. it was nighttime or yeah. something. Well, we saw it in the cutscene, but yeah. yeah. I had to draw one on Microsoft Paint. It's somewhere <laughs> yeah. in the Discord. That was no, that was real. That was in. I drew that Carbuncle real... in, there in there too. That was the real life game. I bet nobody else got to see Carbuncle in their cutscene. Yeah, that rainbow. was ours. That was just for us. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I'm. I, I, yeah, the story. I, I didn't pay attention to Wings of the Goddess story or Seekers. Uh, so this time I'm gonna like take it slow and try and fully pay attention. So I'll try and understand Seekers. Hopefully it's good. Yeah. So far, Chains has been my favorite. I like. I like the music and uh, the zones. Of treasures of Ot Ergen a little better, but story I think uh, chains I like a little better. Not that treasures is bad; treasures is fucking awesome. And I like the I just like the aesthetics of all the places of treasures. And is that like saying you like Shadowbringers more than Heavensward because Heavensward's still awesome. I guess I, I guess I don't know. Same idea. I guess so. Heavensward's yeah. not bad. Right, kind of thing. right. Like it's good. Mm hmm. You might have to check this question mark thing a couple times. Maybe not. Hey. So we'll see. But you should get a cutscene. Makes sense that we're coming here, huh? Because we're looking for Tenzin, looking for Carbuncle. Yes. Yes. I don't know why they didn't just ask me to 
If he asked me to do anything, I follow them. Ah! Round. Hey, buddy! Free, while I'm sure you are in the middle of some important mission, could you spare a few moments for me? You know about the sleeping gods, the avatars that guard the proto crystals? I am as different to those beings as fire is to water, and yet we shared the same desire to protect Vanadil. That is why I aided the blossoming of their power within you and your fellow adventurers. I believe that, it, that if there are aspects fought beside you, they would learn from an existence that had lost the gift of eternity. Finally, the sleeping gods begin to stir from their slumber. Will they consent to join us in our role as guardians of Benadil? I hope to ask this very question to an friend of mine who resides at the full a very very old friend but in order to wake him I need a vast of energy oh shit don't do that man bring me that is where you come in if you could gather the power of the sleeping gods and bring it to the full moon fountain we might have a chance if you use this rainbow resonator to enter the proto crystals you will be closer to the true avatars than anyone has ever been before, but be warned, the ensuing battle will be that much more difficult. You and your fellow adventurers are the only ones capable of besting the six sleeping gods and tapping the elemental energy that they wield. I set this task before you, Mary. There is little time to waste. I don't think that was my cutscene. What do you say, Paige? I don't, yeah, I don't think it was the right one. <laughs> Let's try that again, so, yeah. Garbungle. Try it again. You're definitely looking for uh, oh, Tenzin. Oh, it's you again? <laughs> Gather the elemental energy, Hoopo. Oh, wait. I'll try one more time. Here we go again. There it is. <gasps> wait, a moment, Mary. Common rumor has it that one can meet here with the terrestrial avatar Carbuncle. Could this be true? What, did, you, did you not just see him? He was just here. Carbuncle, bringer of rainbows, I am Tenzin of the Far East, sent here across the seas at the behest of Phoenix. Christ, man, just talk to the question marks on the ground. Come out. The Keeper of the Apocalypse has come to Vanadil, and the four... Uh, and the four of the Mother Crystals are besieged by darkness. Oh, and four. Yet, in the face of this crisis, Bahamut and Diabolos do nothing to defend them. Diabolos draws, draws souls into his dream world to shelter people from the emptiness, and Bahamut rallies his worms for the destruction of every last person on Benadil in the name of some ancient pact. Carbuncle, we all carry the curse of Promethea within us. And it is not within our power to lift this bane. But I cannot accept this as justification for genocide. We were born as a part of fate's design, and we will live the lives that we have been given. Chwing! Oh shit! You who have brought the soul of Phoenix across the waves, and you who carries the blessings of the Mother Crystal. You have finally come into contact with the will of Promethea. I knew that even should the past be ground into dust, there would be a time when people would uncover the truth. No matter how tightly sealed, as long as it exists alongside the Mother Crystal, Promethea will shall... Promethea's will shall one day awaken. That is why I have come to guide you. Guide you to the power of slumbering gods. As many people as possible must possess this strength to prevent the awakening of the Twilight God. The slumbering gods? You speak of the great avatars that dream away their existence in every corner of Vanadil. Eh. I sense that Phoenix does not approve of my action. He who tries to save the world, and he who tries to save mankind, Bahamut and Diabolos, would also surely oppose me if they knew of my plans. 
Every time the power of the avatars is granted to a person, it hastens the awakening of the sleeping gods. If the siphoning of energy continues, the boundaries of the world they protect will shatter, and their true forms will manifest in this world of Vanadil. And then, a furious battle will ensue between the terrestrial avatars and the newly awakened gods. But I believe that this is the only option remaining to prevent Prometheus' rebirth. The awakening of Promethea draws near. The Keeper of the Apocalypse now among us, all that remains is for the Gates of Paradise to be opened. I do not understand. Has not the pursuit for the Gates of Paradise all been the result of Prometheus' curse? If so, then everything has been for the purpose of awakening the Twilight God. Carbuncle, destroying his minions, uh, destroying his minion ourselves is the only way to save the children of Altana. I beg of you to lend the strength we need. Please tell us where to find the Keeper of the Apocalypse. Don't pan to me like it's me. You shine so brilliantly. I know that guiding light well. It is the light standing at your side, merging with your own, that so fills you with hope. Very well. I will grant you my assistance. You will help us? Thirty years ago, I sensed the birth of the Keeper of the Apocalypse. After a number of years, the presence faded, and I can no longer sense its location. However, the fiery bird of resurrection will continue to lead your steps on this journey, and that is why I will lend you my strength, Phoenix Diminished Soul. You have our thanks, bringer of rainbows, I am delirious with joy at your words. Do not rejoice just yet, Tenzin. The energy I will share with Phoenix does not exist here. It can be found in the city built by the Kulu on the outskirts of the Zilarshan capital, a place known as Soja. The power we granted the Kulu in ancient times should still be sealed within the city. Eri ventured deep within the ruins and opened Carbuncle's gates. With the knowledge you now hold, you should be able to operate the device that lies within. As I have no strength for battle, this is the best that I can do, but I am sure you will find it helpful. Yeah, dude. Sorry I don't summon you anymore, you kinda suck. We should get Fenrir's help. Ah. I mean, he's cute. <laughs> yeah. Right? Carbuncle, we are in your dad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't realize the cousin was still going. Mayri, this is the first terrestrial avatar to aid us in our cause. For the others, it will be welcome news indeed. But first, we must secure the energy that is sealed within the ruins of Soja. Let us rendezvous before the gate of, of Carbuncle. Why can't we walk together? My friends always just run. They just go. They're yeah, like, I'm he, leaving. He always gets a head start, or your friends always get a head start, and then you end up getting there before them, like, all it's the time. because I can teleport. <laughs> they can't teleport. Yes, so we will now teleport. <laughs> See you later, Tenzin. Sucker. And go to a book, and then you want to teleport to Bosodine Glacier. Oh, shit. Should have just rode back to the book. Well... I guess we could have. <clears throat> that way you could have gotten on your gold mount again. Sorry yeah. about that. All right. My fault. I know how much you like to. Chances. Yes. Okay, so Carbuncle's being a bro. Yeah, he's being a bro. He's helping. Knew he'd help. Could have just had me summon him. been faster. Probably. Silly. They should hotfix the game. Oh, I'm just reading that now. Yeah, they should, really should. Let a summoner summon it. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, you want to talk to Carbuncle? Uh, here. Here. Right here. <laughs> here, watch. I can make him dance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> watch. Well, look what else I can make him do. <clears throat> I can make him jump up into the air and heal you. Look at yeah. that. 
You can cast Meteor or whatever it's called, Meteorite. That's true. Bolsadine? Bolsadine. Is it original? It is. Bolsadine. Hey, no. Glacier. Bodo. I don't Bodo. Know. Get your Bodo on. It's Bodo. Bodo Glacier. Gonna go to the Piso J. Eh, it's double snow. It's double snow. Oh, God. A, B. All right, where's J? We need J, 8. Keep me All right, so that's, bomb. that's the five. <sighs> da, 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 da. Oh, God, it's so bright. Okay. Go north. You say J5? Uh, yeah, we gotta go uh, this way over here. This way. This way. Hey, Fenrir, can you help us? <laughs> that was the, um, the friend that Carbuncle was referring to. Yeah, I bet. I guess that Fenrir and Carbuncle from. are like best friends. Kinda. I mean, they're kind of like uh, opposites, right? Yeah. Joke. I don't think they're best yeah. friends. I like that your Fenrir is leaving shoe prints. Like yeah, shoe prints. he's he's got little he's got little avatar shoes. <laughs> yeah. He's got avatar shoes. He's got he's, yeah. Keep up the good work there, Tony. Yeah. Well, he's cold. Look at all these Tonys. <laughs> Bunch of Tonys around here. They are great. You're a dork. <laughs> You're a big dork. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't call them Tonys. That was a magic sticks thing. But you're currently calling them Tonys. Uh, I sure am. I wonder it's if funny. he still plays fourteen. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't seen His him kid's either. probably like thirty by now or something. I yeah, forgot he had a kid. Yeah, he had a yeah, kid. Yeah, he's a while never ago. coming back to games. Nah. I'm my own kid. Yeah, same. <laughs> I'm your Our own kid. kid. <laughs> Our kid is... <gasps> hey, wait! What? It's the thing that you printed! Yeah, that's the thing that, I didn't uh, remember. that Roy Cop printed. That's, yeah, that's we'd the seen thing. them here. Yep, yep. Wow! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that scared me. But also, <laughs> yes, whoa! <laughs> Gollum! <laughs> 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 Thank you! <laughs> <sighs> Man, it's been a night for heart attacks, I'll tell you that much. Yeah. Wow. Wow! Okay. See, I was just trying to toughen you up. Wow! Showing you the spider. Torquil! <laughs> wow! Wow! How you doing, Tork? There's your red version, but you're gonna paint it more common purple. Ah, yeah, yeah. You good? Yeah, that would, that's gonna look awesome. In like the, they, I think they look the best in like the woodsy area with the crystals, Ooh. like the crystal forest, Zeta. I can't wait. They to look see okay it out here in the blizzard, but I'd say if they weren't in a like blizzard background out here, they wouldn't look as cool. I like the red yeah. eyes here. Mhm. Mm what you up to, Tork? I'm surprised you're here. Careful, you're gonna get spoiled. We're gonna go beat up the Shadow Lord again. That's what we're doing. Yeah. I'm gonna cry again if we do that. Ah, uh, you missed a good cutscene, though. It involved goblins. Spoilers. Moblins. Goblins. Spoilers. Eight. Heck. Good, the better it was, the happier I am to have missed it well. You missed out on some high quality voice acting. It was not great voice acting. I had to have Paige do one of them. That was fun. It was amazing voice <laughs> acting. All of my dudes sound the same because I can't make my voice go lower. <laughs> and I can't do that like 
gritty voice sound like <laughs> like I really want Sid to have that sort of like smoker's voice but I can't I will destroy <laughs> my vocal cords if I do that okay I think you're gonna wanna have to I think you're gonna wanna stay snuck and invised in here okay I can do that yeah um Oh, okay, Torque. Well, thanks for stopping in. Yeah, later, Torque. Enjoy your disciple of hand job. A nice big space between. Them. Uh -huh. Weird. Your buddy suggested using Sky as the scene, but it seems like it's hard to sell in a small square footage of floor. Ah, uh, yeah. Cement filled zones. Well, maybe you could do the um. I guess you already chose your color for it, but the purple ones that we just saw in the snow. It would be kind of... Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright, so... <clears throat> the game plan in here, if you uh, want to look at your map really quick. Yeah. So... You see how it's all, like, kind of checkerboxed and a whole bunch of small square rooms? We have to go all the way around it. We have to go all the way around in a certain path. It's basically a counterclockwise path. Uh, and part of it isn't even shown on Counter? the map. Yeah, we're going counterclockwise. Ah, wait. Okay. Just trust me. Alright. Trust. Maze Just trust. Lizard. Trust me with our trusts. Imagine walking in here, seeing that something is called maze, and you don't really know what it's like in here. Like, if you came in... Oh, a wait a minute. I'm looking at the wrong fucking map. Hold on a second. Are you, what? I was uh, on my on my guide. I was looking at the wrong map. Clockwise, right? Um, I don't know. I have to look at the right map first. <laughs> hey, it's lizard. You easy prey. Stupid. Stupid easy prey. There are a total of 16 stone doors that you have to pass through, and each one of them has a high chance spawn of Gargar. Okay. He's snuggling on Treon. Yeah, he's snuggling. Uh, yes, we are going to be going um, clockwise. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, God. As soon as this door opens, run through. Okay. Does this guy cleave? Uh, yeah. Oh, dear. But he's gonna die really quick, so don't worry about it. Mm. Alright. <laughs> Into the door. You in? I'm in, yeah. Okay. Rest. Oh my god, and you would have to fight something at every door? Every door. <laughs> well, not every, but there is a high chance that one of these will spawn. <laughs> Okay, the door stays open pretty long time, right? Oh, it does, okay. yeah. I'm like running through like it's gonna shut immediately. Yeah, I just wanna make sure you get in, because yeah, if yeah. you lollygag and don't get in, we have to start all over again. Gotcha. And there's like 16 total doors that we have to go through. I'm actually so terrified of getting slapped. I wouldn't worry about it, They're, <laughs> they don't have a lot of HP. Okay. You're gonna make the dolls? These gargoyles? Possible to gauge! They got like little heads. Yeah, they do! You know yeah, the like stone heads. golems have kitty heads? We got kitty heads. Just in 14. At least, and I know for sure in 14, if you zoom in on the golem, the stone golem heads, yeah. they have like cat ears. Ah. Uh. Lubber eyes. Ah! <coughs> yeah. Look at his butt. Yeah, he's thick. Big hips. He does have big hips. He doesn't really have a butt, huh? No, yeah, I guess not. Oh my god.
Easy prey? Okay. Palmberry scared me. Yeah. They're cute. They are cute, but they're terrifying. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck, run away! Less floats on the dolls? These guys? Yeah, these guys aren't that floaty. They look connected. What's that? Spine? That spine gonna be weak. Oh, this took so much more time back in the day. I bet! This is crazy! Did it level sync you two? Uh, it might have. Aha! We got lucky on that one. Millstone. Yeah, if you get lucky, one doesn't spawn and you can just go right in. Yeah, these guys are gonna be really top heavy if you you're gonna print them. Brittle waste. Thank goodness I have a pocket page, huh? Yeah. <clears throat> da, da. The music. Back and forth. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, do you hear the music when I engage? Yeah, I do. Oh, it's probably because you're da, in the party. Da, 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 da. <laughs> down, down, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> yep. Almost there. Da, da. Dun 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 dun. Ripton berry. Aya! You're cute. Stop moving. I want to see your face. Oh, he's camera shy. Oh, he's <laughs> running he's in like, panic oh, circles. No. I don't want to be on a stream. Oh, don't put my face there. He's hiding his face behind his little thing. Oh. Aww. <laughs> a little idiot. They're shy. Look at me. Ah! I wanna oh be my god. So unlucky. Yeah, whatever. You're destroying them. <sighs> I know. When I did this by myself, I think I got a couple of doors that just opened. Eh. But, whatever. Yeah, whatever. It's not super long. So cute. Yeah! Are they supposed to look like turtles? The tonberries? Yeah. Oh god damn it, Semi. Oh, did those not hit anything else? Oh good. I went through. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think this is the last one. <laughs> did we get one free door? We got one free door. Nice. Hey, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, better than no free doors, I guess. Da -da 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 -da. Yay! How much time is left on your sneak? Mm, 16 seconds. Alright, might want to reapply that. Okay. Sneak. Dun, dun, dun. And, uh, you shouldn't need invisible. Oh, really? I don't think so. Not even just in case? Nah. We're not going to be going very far once we get to the bottom. If you say so. And you're going to want to check the Avatar Gate. Ah, when we get to the bottom, there's right, going to be a gate Steve. called the Avatar Gate. Yup. Oh, uh, yup. Ew, more of these spiders. That's yeah. Like, eh, get off the thing. Ah, That's right. Trust. <laughs> Holy crap. Deafening. That was the real fight, was getting through all the trusts before the elevator went back up. Mm -hmm. Nice gate, Carbuncle.
So this is the device which will provide us with the power of Carbuncle. Let us begin, Mary. Hi. Well, but it only had one button, that made everything easy. No password, nothing. Oh, that was the energy. I was expecting to see Carbuncle. I can hear the voice of Phoenix. He's telling us to return to the place where we first met Celtius. But that would be Juno. Good. Hey, Spooker. Mask. Hi. You're muted. Hey. Sorry, I was hitting the wrong button. That's okay. Okay, so back to, uh, do, 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 do. you checked the avatar gate, okay, got a cutscene, yep. Upper Juno, oh, we're going to Monboro. Upper Juno, got it. I'm going. But first, to Sandoria. Because that's where my ring is linked. <laughs> yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Ba, ba. At some point, I'm not sure when it is, but there's a a good cutscene with Monboro that I think you'll like. I like all cutscenes with Monboro. I know, I was gonna say, and I was like, when you were saying that, I was like, ah, oh, good, she likes Monboro. Yeah, I like Monboro too. Upper. A auction house? Uh, yes, that would yeah, that would be like right it. outside his thing. Infirmary Monboro. Mombro the bro. Here I come. I'll go to the right door this time. I'm gonna deafen, and then okay. I'll uh, un unmute when I'll tell you where to go next. Hey, dude. You seen the little boy around here? Mayri, it seems as if you have experienced a trying ordeal in the Northlands. I have attempted to gather information from the Ducal Guard, however, none are willing, or should I say allowed, to speak of the map, though the fear in their eyes tells much. And that is not all. Recently, there have been unsettling rumors that the end of the world is near. Those rumors also say that a young patient that I treated the girl who had the amulet stolen is connected with all of this in some matter. I have even tried the Ducal Guard. Uh, I have even heard that the <laughs> Ducal Guard has a warrant out for her arrest. Right, I forgot about that. Preposterous! Lady Prish is simply being used. True criminal is that boy. Why, if it is not... I apologize for my sudden entrance, Doctor. Mary, something terrible is underway. I have come from the Grand Duke's palace, Grand Duke Palace, where I heard of the Duchy's ridiculous plan. Juno has begun to mobilize the Ducal Guard in preparation for an attack on Bahamut. Yes, Bahamut has threatened Vanadil with the promise of apocalypse. However, he is still one of the terrestrial avatars bound to protect the world. There must be some way to persuade the Conqueror of the Skies, and that is why I requested the. Uh, to accompany the commander of this operation, Lady Esha Nataro. Unfortunately, the commander was not one to listen to reason. He is convinced that it will be, it would be futile to try and communicate with Bahamut. The only way to save the people of Vanadil is to attack the Worm King and his minions before they attack our cities. Excuse me, sir. I am not sure I fully, if I fully comprehend what you are trying to say. Bahamut is readying to launch an attack on the four nations? That cannot be true. But if it was, have the leaders of the nations been informed? Have their armies begun preparations? 
Unfortunately, Sandoria, Bastoke, and Windurst more than likely remain oblivious to the situation at hand. And even if they did know, they would have no means of mounting a counterattack. Bahamut is known as the Conqueror of the Skies for a reason. The power he and his minions possess is beyond anything we could imagine. Power control to control time and space. Control time and space? The moment he and his minions were to arrive above our cities would be the moment of our defeat. We would have no choice but to accept annihilation. But I feel there is still a way. Lady Esha Natarl mentioned that Bahamut is currently building up the energy necessary for teleporting his fellow worms to the locations of attack. If we could reach Bahamut before he has stored enough power, we may be able to persuade him not to begin his ambush of Vanadil. Persuade him? The end of the world is right before us, and you want to sit down and chat with the bringer of that destruction? Exactly! With the power of Phoenix Blade and Mary by my side, I am positive that I can convince Bahamut to spare the lives of the swirl. <laughs> oh, Tenzin. But to succeed, I require your assistance, Doctor. I need to know where that boy was first discovered. Da da da. You wait. Understood. Wolfgang, captain of the Tukal Guard, ordered me not to reveal this information to anyone. However, I'm afraid I no longer have any choice. On the first floor of Delphit's Tower, there is a large doorway that leads to the deeper areas of the spire. It is somewhere down there that the boy mysteriously appeared. A large, central chamber. That is all I remember. I am extremely grateful for all you have done for us, Doctor. Come, Mayri, we have no time to lose. Run away now. Oh, he's not running. Uh, but there is a door. A locked door. And only Wolfgang knows how to open it. I have no worries, as Phoenix will lead the way. Mayri, make your preparations and meet at the tower. Mayri, it may be a worthless effort, but let me ask Wolfgang for the key to that chamber. While sometimes misled, he is a man who strongly believes in justice. He may feel that it is solely his duty to protect the world on the eve of its destruction. We must let him know that there are those of us who also follow the same path as he. Here, take this envelope to the palace guard post. I will be praying for your success, Mayri. Yeah, you better. You see who's on my team. Fireball. Gone. Fireball. Gone. Firecracker. He's out. Thanks, my boy. Um, this is something I should have mentioned before. Um, but uh, any key item that you can get, you can um, examine it and uh, get a little flavor text on it if you're interested. I think I knew that, and I always forget. Right. So it's in your key items menu, probably temporary. Hello, from Mumbra. <laughs> yeah. Doctor Mumbra has asked you to deliver this message to. To, to do cow guard, Captain Wolfgang. Inside is a tiny slip of paper with a drawing of what looks like Batilia Downs inscription A9N. Is that the map location? Um, you'll find out a little later. Um, okay, go and speak with, uh, so Rulud Gardens. Well. <laughs> yes, this is a safe place. For now. For now. Uh, Rulud Gardens, home point one. Ooh, it might not be safe for long. Oh, good night, Roy Cop. Thanks for stopping by, dude. Oh, yeah, have a good night. Uh, home point one. And then you're gonna go north and make a left before you go up the stairs. <laughs> and in the room there, you're gonna speak with Faramosi. Or if go to the left, is that what you said? Yeah, go to the go north and then left before the stairs. Okay. And then uh, you'll go into a hallway and there's a room. Living on the edge. You've talked to this guy before, I think. We're in the danger zone. It's this door. <clears throat> uh, yeah, and he's on the right. 
He looks like Brad Zach's Lamp? character. Oh, this guy! Yeah. Very Moshil. Watch out, Torquil! Watch out! Oh god, just mute it! You'll never know what was said. What is this? You say you have business with the captain. Ah, Mary, I was looking for you. Eshin Atarl, Duke Vicarious, would like to hear your account of what transpired in the Northlands. Huh? What is this envelope? From Dr. Mumbro? He... However, first things first. Follow me. Do, 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 do. Man. Brainless adventurer. Ah, welcome back, adventurer. I see that you were unsuccessful in protecting the fourth crystal. And now it is looking more and more like you are the one leading the boy. Relax, adventurer. I am not blaming you for anything. Nagmalata kept the secret of the amulet to himself. It is fu foolishness that acted as a catalyst for what occurred in the Northlands. And now that we know the true identity of the boy, there is no reason to further suspect your nation's involvement. I apologize for not trusting you. However, now we must put aside our misunderstandings and unite to save our world from being destroyed. Will you help us protect the Mother Crystals? Yeah, I guess. I don't have a choice. Mary, in the presence of the Fourth Crystal, I have learned that a strange occurrence took place. Is it true that the girl you took with you actually helped Celtheus and thwarted the plans of Nagmulata? It is extremely important that you do not withhold information from us. Um... Yeah, alright. I don't care. You can have the truth. Yeah, she did it. I see. The duchy is currently searching for that girl. We do not wish to punish her. We feel that she may be in grave danger. We must find her so we can protect her. Oh, no, that I believe you. The first threat to her will be Nag Malata. He is already attempting to make it seem as if the fall of the fourth crystal was the girl's fault. If he finds her, he will more than likely poison her mind, preventing her from speaking of anything that may harm his plan. Second threat will be that of the boy Celtius. His next destination will most surely be the fifth and final crystal. However, this crystal lies deep beneath the sea, and the only and the only one who knows how to reach it is the girl. Finally, the third threat will consist of assassins from the south. You may have already heard the rumors of the Mithran sin hunters who have crossed the southern seas to try the theologians of Nasia. These hunters will not give up until they have punished, have punished all those they seek. And that is why we need your help, Mary. If you find the girl, bring her here. No harm will be brought to her. I swear on the name of the goddess. Alright. Lady Eshenatara. Oh. Lion ass bitches. Mary, did you tell them everything that happened in the Northlands? Fucking right I did. My plan was flawless! If it wasn't for that despicable girl Prish, I would have captured Celtius and this whole ordeal would be solved. That girl heard the whisper of Celtius' soul, sang the Memoria de Listona, and helped him escape. The testament of affinity she possesses, it connects the hearts and souls of men. Celtius has been using that con to control her. Jesus Christ. There's liars everywhere! But now we have the chance to find out his true intentions, and we can cap if we can capture the girl, we can use her to tap into Celtius' mind. We can learn it- uh, We can learn if he truly arrived to save Altaio. The hooded guy talking, I guess. I'll go far. 
You miserable man, are you saying Celtius does not know that our crusade ended long ago? You fool, are you saying Celtius does not know that the Crystal Capital was destroyed long ago? Perhaps it is we who did not know the true outcome of the crusade or the true fate of our capital. I propose that an expedition be sent to Altaio. There we may find the answers to why Celtius survived all the all the centuries and why he continues to poison the mother crystals. And that is why we must first investigate the line leading to the fifth crystal. Please grant me access to the crystal terminal. I do not understand why you feel an expedition to Altaio is necessary. However, the, uh, the Armathurn Society has already made a decision on this matter. I seem to recall that you have been given orders to research the Moblin city that was discovered near Bastok. All affairs concerning Celtius have been left to Eshin Natar. You are not to interfere. But Lady Eshin Natar has been given the assignment of Bahamut. Celtius is a much graver problem than you can imagine. I do not think... Yes, you do not think. Did you really believe attacking the boy with the Eye of Altana would defeat him? Your impudence is the cause of all of our troubles. But... Nagmalada, do not misunderstand us. The society does not intend to pry at your faults. The reason we have entrusted you with the Moblin investigation is because your excellent clue powers of negotiation are vital for the success of the mission. But a Lady Esha Natarl, you do not realize how powerful the boy has become. Now with the eye gone and the path to the fifth crystal sealed, how do you plan on dealing with him? I don't think you even have a plan. Very well. Let me inform you of how we plan to stop Celtius. We can draw him forth without traveling to the crystal. We can seal him without your precious Eye of Altana. How? You can hear me, can you not, Celtius? It is I who possess the other amulet you seek. I am waiting, Celtius. Come and fulfill the pact. Oh, shit. You're gonna just... Okay. Oh. Here. Take this envelope back to the doctor. It does not belong to me. Why would he try to... Well, that was a trip. We started here and I completely forgot. Yeah. Hey, man. <laughs> All right, so you can. It is optional, but I'm sure you'll want to do it. Uh, go back to Monborough for oh, some dialogue. Oh no. no, yeah, let's go, my boy. <clears throat> but, but why would he try to help? <laughs> Save the world? Mm. Like finish that sentence. Oh no, he was asking about Monborough. Yeah, that's what I mean. Oh, like, gotcha. Why stop there? Why would he try to? Uh, he's uh, upper. House. Upper auction house. Yeah, you got it. Got it. You can learn. Oh, a hydrate. Thank you. Totally missed that. Mm -hmm. Get in here. After this, uh, exit out to Battalia Downs, okay. which is right here in Upper Juno. Um, bro, he didn't want your envelope, man. I see by his reaction, Wolfgang misunderstood the meaning of m the map. Where should you go? Haha, <laughs> that's a secret, Mary. Though if you think hard enough, I feel you will come to understand. Why can't you just tell me? What do you mean? What do you mean? Hey! Hey! 
just tell me. <laughs> Sorry for all the commotion at the embassy. Let me apologize. <coughs> Wolfgang and I are old friends, and both of us are quite stubborn, I'm afraid. I hope you'll forgive me. <sighs> stubborn ass. Elvon. Okay, <laughs> just tell me. Stop being cryptid. Wasting my time. I'm trying to save the world. <sighs> Alright, out to Battalia. Battalia. You know why I figured it out? Because Paige is here to just friggin' tell me. <laughs> I, I should have told you. Too it's late. It's fine. It's not a long walk. <laughs> and then uh, when you get out there, you know um, if you keep running straight, there's like that wall with the arch that you go to like go out into the yeah. dangerous part of Battalion Downs. So <laughs> you're going to go under that arch and immediately take a left. And uh, on the side of the wall, there should be a triple question mark. And check that for a cutscene. Okay. Out the gate. To the left. Find triple. Yeah. I can do that. Yeah, it's like right next to the wall, but like outside of the wall. Okay. All the way down to the left. And then, uh, so you'll get a cutscene, and then after the cutscene... You check the question mark again. Oh, is that what the thing said in the note? Kinda, yeah. Can I check the map? Yeah. So it, it said K9N? Yeah, K9N. K9. Interesting. K9N meaning maybe north? Maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Is that like what the note was supposed to tell me? Oh, I see it. I guess so. Yeah, K9 North. Yep. Interesting. Deafening. Okay. You will not find anything of interest there, Mary. Well, I found you, didn't I? This place. I... A long time ago in Juno, there were these two boys, the best of friends, always sticking their noses into places they did not belong, fighting, getting into trouble. One day, the boys found a shard of blue glass. There was nothing special about it. It was probably just a broken bottle from one of the local pubs. However, for these boys, it was a fabulous treasure. Looking through that glass allowed the boys to see the world in a different light. It made the town new and exciting. The two would spend hours arguing over who was to use it next. But in time, the buildings and the bridges began to bore them. One day, the boys decided they would defy their father's warnings, sneak out of the city gates just to have a look at the rest of the world. For a member of the Ducal Guard, Coming this far is a simple task, but for two young boys who had never ventured beyond the borders of their hometown, their little journey was a grand adventure. And on that journey, they brought their treasure. A weird effect. And when they gazed at the towering duchy through the soft blue glass, they realized the strength, the beauty, and the grandeur that was Juno. And they were awestruck by the sight of their hometown. The excitement they felt by watching Juno from that spot drew them back there from numer drew them back there numerous times. However, one day, one of the boys said a strange thing. Juno's amazing, whether you look at it through the glass or not. Ah, uh, Bro. It's been a long time since we both visited this place. Ah, Look at the city. It's just as beautiful today as it was when we were boys. Wouldn't you say, Wolf? Why have you come here, Mumbro? I have been so busy lately, I just thought I would come here to rest a spell. 
Why are you here? I... I was just patrolling the area. I see. Wolfgang. Hmm? You know the glass is mine. What? Don't you remember when we buried it? You said the treasure's yours. I don't need it anymore. I never said such a thing. Where's your proof? Do you have it in writing? Huh? I don't see any signatures. <laughs> Some things never change, do they, Wolf? If you want it, it's yours. The shard should still be right where we buried it. No. That treasure was neither mine nor yours. It was ours. Wolf. The true reason I came here was to bury the glass. I guess I never told you that I dug it up and kept it in my room. Recently, I seem to have lost sight of what I truly need to protect in this world. When I was a boy, staring at the duchy from this hill, I thought I had finally realized what my father was risking his life to protect. Coming here today reminded me of that. And hopefully I will never forget. Again. I'll be seeing you, Burrow. Oh, they have nicknames for each other. They're so cute. Oh, where did I put that key? I hope I did not bury it by mistake. Oh well. What is another slap on the wrist and a cut in pay? I have a successful doctor friend to buy all the rounds the next time we go to the pub. <laughs> and who would that happen to be? I guess I was right. My old friend hasn't changed a bit. Ah, Mary, if I were you, I'd see that. I'd see what the captain has buried over there. I have a feeling it is something that may be useful to you on your next quest. But I request that you leave the other treasure where it rests. Allow the memories of two young boys to live on, even if it just for a little while longer. Ah. Ah. Wasn't that wholesome as fuck? That was fucking wholesome as fuck. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. yeah, I thought you'd like that. Oops, that was me. Sorry. I just got a couple phone calls. I don't know who it is. Phone calls? Yeah, my phone just lit up twice. I got a little distracted there during... Oh, okay. I don't have the number saved. I don't know who it is. Gotcha. Okay, moving on. Did I check it again? Uh, yeah, you have to. <clears throat> Something is buried underneath a piece of light blue glass. You leave the glass where it is. <laughs> yeah, that was too cute. I'm not gonna steal their glass. Adorable. They should get married. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you can zone back into Juno. I have a key. Yes, you do. And then, um... Do, 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 do. Go to a book. Book is a Rulude, I think. Yeah. Yeah, there's one in Rulude by the Mog House. Yeah. My old second home. Yeah. And then you are going to teleport, uh, book teleport, to uh, Lower Delkfoot's Tower. Oh, that place again, huh? That place again. Yep, that's where the key belongs. And that's where they first discovered Celtius. Right. Oh, yeah, that is... cutscene we saw ages ago. Yes, which is the whole reason we needed that key because only Wolfgang really had access. Right. And Monbro asked him a favor. Gotcha. Alright, television assistance to original release. It is original, yep. Let's tower. Asset? 
lower delt for the tower. Got it. Here I come! Yeah, I'll meet you there. Okay. Yes, Bone Tower. <laughs> yeah, the Boner Tower. Boner Tower. Look at the bones. Look at the bones. <laughs> uh, how late did you want to go for? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Well, right now we're going to H5, A, B, C, D. Do I need to sneak or? You shouldn't hear, no. Okay. You shouldn't hear. <clears throat> Everything on this lower floor is like level Baby 20. Stuff. Yeah, level 20 to 30, I would say. Hey, gobbies. Helen, not killing adventurers. You can run around, I'm sure you'll be okay. I'm just taking out trusts because we're going to need them. Okay, dokie. I'm just RP walking my way there. <laughs> okay. Gives me power ups. Yeah. Well, I'll be seeing you, bro. Yeah, bro. And wolf. <laughs> ah. What a bunch of dorks! I bet they were cute as fuck. What a bunch of nerds and their blue glass. Stupid hey. kids. Haha! <laughs> -ha, I'm winning. Not on my screen. What? I'm ahead of you on my screen. Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh like that. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> That's the way Wolf laughed back in the day when he was a little kid. Oh, maybe. I would think maybe Mombro would laugh like that. A bit more yeah, nerdy. maybe. <laughs> I'm a doctor. <laughs> My glass. Now, so like what I'm hoping for is like all these kind of cute stories that we're seeing happen now. It's like when I do wings or when we do, when you do wings of the goddess, you know, we're going to go back in time and you may be able to see these guys as kids. Am I going in here? Yes, you're gonna check that door. Oh. And yeah, I would love that. Ah! It's disaster! <laughs> Ouchie! What did he just do to me? Well, he cast um, shock on My you. mind is reduced. I didn't have that much to start with. <laughs> oh no. My HPs. Uh, after this guy dies, uh, check the, uh, the Sermet door for a cutscene. Oh, I'm gonna do it! Like, 25% dumber now. During this cutscene. Cause he debuffed me. Something huge is bearing down upon you. Oh wait, that was the thing. Mary, where- where did you get that key? Uh, I know a guy. Captain of the Ducal Guard. Well, well, well. Who dat? Motherfucker. Excellent timing. Great minds think alike, wouldn't you say, Mary and Tenzin? I never thought it would be you two who helped me. I too have some very important business on the other side of that door. Can we just, like, kill him? I'd like to just. Him. Ah, what a grand sight. The five mother crystal. It is this contraption that protects them as they slumber beneath Vanadil. Protects them? So that is the purpose of this tower? Exactly. The five crystals are connected by the five crystal lines that all converge on this very place. For many centuries, we have monitored the lines, protected the radiance of the crystals. However, when the Worm King Bahamut arrived, 
The five crystal lines began acting strangely. We could no longer control them. And then came Celtius. He came here? Sir Nagmalada, are you saying that the boy came here via the crystal line? Which means, by traveling back through the line, he can... Exactly. He can reach the fifth crystal. However, it is not as easy as you may think. The lines were not built as a path for men. They were built to gather the light of the mother crystal. The true reason Celtius was able to enter this place was because he was aided by a guardian of the crystals. A terrestrial avatar. Terrestrial avatar? It is all clear now. Phoenix led me to this place to show me the way to the celestial capital of Altaio. Phoenix led you here. That is truly unfortunate. If this only had happened before Soja was reactivated. Reactivated? What do you mean by that? The ruins of Soja were once the homes of my Kulu brothers and sisters. However, at the onset of the Kulu War with the Zalart, the terrestrial avatars lent us their power and helped us transform the area into an impenetrable, impenetrable stronghold. And deep below the ruins is a device that blocks the flow of energy through the crystal line. Eshin Atarl has repaired that device. Repaired it? Why would she do such a thing? I no longer know what the society is plotting. That is why I came here. To find out their true intentions. <laughs> Are you surprised? I guess to you that we ancients, the Kalu and Zalart, are all the same. However, that could not be further from the truth. The Zalart were blessed with the ability to subliminally com communicate with all those around them. They possess the Whisper of the Soul. It was this ability that made bonds between them unbreakable. However, there were those who were born without the Whisper. The Kalu. My people were destined from birth to sit outside the bonds of the Zalartian community. But we bystanders were able to ascertain the truth, and it was this that helped us survive the Crusades of the 10,000 years... Uh, crusades of 10,000 years ago. Zalart. The terrestrial avatars, Celtius, once again their sins will deface Vanadil and undermine her children. That is terrible. If you know of such battle brewing, why do you not attempt to stop it? Why must we fight the avatars? Such a battle would be meaningless. Our true enemies are the emptiness and the evil boy that is spreading it. Ha! Ah, is that what you have to say? Tenzin. When, you, when are you going to stop being led around on a leash like a measly dog? When are you going to see that the terrestrial avatars, what the terrestrial avatars really want? Listen, I told you this once before. Celtius is nothing but a traitor. Uh, I need water. Just a second. <coughs> Got a dry spot in my throat. I'm sorry, guys. Celtius is nothing but a traitor. I think I've heard that before. Ten thousand years ago, he prevented the Zalart from obtaining what they desired. Now he is simply attempting the same thing. The records stored in this crystal line observation equipment have shown me the reason why Celtius travels to the Mother Crystal. By touching the shards, he is able to drain their light, their power. The crystal's power? Oh, Tenzin. To accomplish our task, we had to gather the power of the crystals and fuse it into one. And to do that, we needed to repair and revive the Zalarsha machines that were damaged in the accident that occurred 10,000 years ago. With the machines working again, we are able to slowly draw the light of the crystals. When he realized he could not single-handedly take on the whole nation of Juno, he turned into the he turned to the crystals instead. And when he laid his hands upon them, their power flowed from the facets like 
water rushing from a broken dam. This sudden loss of power resulted in a disruption in the space surrounding the crystals. Without the life-giving light of the crystals shining upon it, the space became overwhelmed with darkness, with emptiness. But Beltias first appeared on Benadil the same time as Bahamut. In my home nation, there were many reports of the emptiness e eating its way through the land long before Bahamut even arrived. Wait, did you just say they were slowly drawing the power of uh, the light from the crystals? That would mean that the cause of the emptiness in the east is you, the Zillart. Eh. I was beginning to wonder when you would realize that, Tenzin. But don't misunderstand us. It was never our intention to harm Venadil with the emptiness. Such devastation. While we lay in slumber for the past 10,000 years, things changed. The crystals changed. Especially the fifth crystal, deep below Al Tayo. When the celestial capital was destroyed and sunk to the bottom of the sea, the crystal was damaged. The, day that, the data that it returns is very odd indeed. However, you need not worry. Once the gate of the gods is opened, the crystal will return to their former state. And once they do, the emptiness will disappear in the crystal's radiance and the Zalart will have accomplished their dream. <clears throat> Only the wretched terrestrial avatars stand in our way. That is enough. Before I slice you in two, I will give you the opportunity to recall the worlds of Diabolos. Wake up. You are all bound like marionettes by the chains of Promethea. When the gates of paradise open, our world will be no more. But with an end always comes a new beginning. Tenzin, have you asked the precious phoenix what actually happens when our world is no more? What do you mean? Yes, the world we live in now is nothing but an illusion. What? 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 Compared to paradise, Venadil is a cesspool festering with pain and suffering. Lost hopes, dreams. Strict values waver in the winds of uncertainty, while you pilfer your precious time struggling to recognize the truths that peer back at you through the darkness. You are inclined to search aimlessly for hints of who you truly are, though you rarely discover them. And it is this failure that ultimately forces you to tread a vague path through your miserable lives. Thank you, Hydrate. I'm like almost done with this water. Also, what the fuck is he trying to say to me? Even confessions of the soul result in disagreement and inconsistency, thrusting your pitiful masses into utter chaos. It is this chaos that breeds evil, an evil that propels you into justifying deeds of malevolence to maintain your false sense of purity. Wow. He's being harsh. You were born into this world, and this is the only world you know. That is why you fear its end. You fear, and you fight it. The terrestrial avatars recognize this characteristic of your people and have used it to their advantage. Why? Have you ever wondered why the terrestrial avatars are named so? It is because they too were born of Venadil. If Venadil returns to paradise, they will be nothing but mere animals. But... You people are nothing but puppets, your strings tied to the fingers of the terrestrial avatars destined to a life of slavery. Why not open your eyes to the truth? Now that you realize your true enemies are the avatars who claim to protect you, their journey through the darkness is over. You can leave the rest to me. I shall change your destinies. Um... The light Celtius has gathered from the Mother Crystals. If the celestial capital of Altaio still does exist, then the Zalart's plan is... 
monitoring device will inform me of the crystal's memories. The memories will guide me. Let your memories show me the truth I seek. I hope it fucking slaps you in the face. I hate this guy so much. Wait, what? Where was that? Oh, that's why he he's like having a little flashback. Ah, I'm only receiving partial data. There's still too much interference coming from the fifth crystal. But that image... I've seen it somewhere before. It was... Chamber of Eventide. And that was Ashen Ataro. Yes, it's all clear now. Stop running away! Stop it! Could it be? Nagmalata said the terrestrial avatars are using us. Using us to prevent people from waking up and realizing the truth. But if that is true, people who gave their lives for this flame, I... Phoenix... Answer me! To grant you this form, lives were lost, villages destroyed. The lifeblood you drank for my people, was it not to save Venadil? Was it not to breathe hope back into her children? Once again you tell me to visit Fenrir. Where? The southern tower of Soja? Is that all? We shall see what truths the final avatar presents us with. We shall see if we are simply being made fools, fools of. Up running away from me! New challenge! Fuck up the avatars! Alright. You get down with New that. challenge! <laughs> Figure out what the fuck is going on! <laughs> fuck! Yeah, that Eshen is... Charles, like, dude's a liar. Oh my god, thank you for the follow! Eon Blue, welcome in. Oh, that's in. Adam. <laughs> Adam? Yeah, that's Adam. Adam? Like, the yeah. Adam? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the Adam. <laughs> that famous Adam that we all know? Oh, thank you, Hydrate. <laughs> my god, my throat is killing me. Uh, I need more yeah, women they... in this game. It's the Adam. How's it going, Adam? Thank you for the follow. <laughs> <laughs> the Adam. Enjoy your cane emoji, which you get five of for following the channel. <laughs> I hope you're doing well, Adam. Miss you. Yeah, he's recovering well from the surgery. Good, good, good. That's awesome. Yeah, him, uh, him and Bill... Well, Bill at least was asking, like, what the stream was. Because I think ah. they were playing a game earlier, so I just linked Bill with the thing, so they they probably like popped in and out while they were playing or whatever. Well, thanks for hopping in and enjoy my very bad voice acting. I don't know if you heard any of it. <laughs> we just got out of a cutscene. Uh, I'm trying my best, guys. Yeah, that's that's kind of a meaty. Yeah, that was a lot. Too. So we it, it was a lot. Saw Eshin the Tarl, and she was like. Nagmalata is a fucking liar, and then we saw Nagmalata, and he's like, Eshen is a fucking liar. Also, the avatars are fucking liars, and you guys suck, and you're a lie, and you're all fake, and this is a dream world or something, and... Yep. Bruh. So, although the Kulu are, like, basically, like, shitty versions of the Zillart, because they don't have the Whisper of Souls or whatever, but right. they still, uh, you know, look down at you like you're... Garbage, yeah, I like... mean, of course, they're the ancient right. race. You <laughs> right, did? You're right. very lost with this game, and it seems like typical Final Fantasy. Honestly, I don't know what's going on either, so we're in the same boat. <laughs> 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 One ancient said the other ancient's a liar, and they also said that we are scum of the earth. But I think they don't know that I'm the main character, and I have uh, plot armor, so I'm going <laughs> to Yeah, that's true. Yeah. It you is the win. best FF. 
<laughs> okay. Um, so, uh, I don't know how long you want to keep playing, but there is one more kind of short quest that will end Tenzin's path and that would finish yeah. the three paths. Let's, let's do that tonight. Let's get that done. Okay. Alrighty. Shall I warp? Uh, yes. So, do, 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 yeah, we're going back to Bosidine Glacier. Bosidine. Is that a book? That's a book. Yeah, that'll be a book teleport. A book. Man. Uh, Adam, if you're still watching, did you guys finish? Um, it takes two. I've been meaning to uh, ask you about that game, Mary. It takes two. Yeah, it's it's apparently a really really good, um, like co-op game for like two people. Like two people have to play it. I think. <clears throat> kind and it got of a lot of really good it? reviews. I don't even know. Does it have good story? Because that's what I'm into. Probably. I I think it does. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, let's go. Bosadine. Bosadine. Yeah, you're a little ahead of me, but I'll meet you out there. Uh, if you want to try and start making your way to H10, that's the Soja entrance that we're going for. I think I can navigate. All right, you might have to come and find me, though. <laughs> H10. Okay, well, you know, just don't go the wrong way. Right, you kind of yeah. have to, like, look at the little pathways that take you to, like, upper layers and lower layers to get to the right one. Incredible co-op game. Like this one. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I, mean, I guess. <laughs> Wait, I need a... I thought that was you for a second. No, I'm not there yet. H10, you say? H10, I'm teleporting now. Ah, uh, H10. <laughs> In H zone. So we're gonna go south, I guess. Um, like down there? H10. Duke's du story du gameplay changes constantly, so they just made to be fun at all times. I'd enjoy it. Intriguing. I am very picky about the games I play. H10. I think this is right. Wait. Head to the tower at H10. Gotta go down this hill, right? Yeah, I would assume so. I'm gonna follow this guy. I don't see... Oh, I see it. It's, um... If you look at your map, there is a NM called Kirata with, like, a white circle. It's, like, right in the middle of that white circle. So I have to... It's hard to tell with all the circle on it. Yes. Yeah, you have to, you have to go south first. Like, down the little hill? I think so, yeah. I'm going. I should have followed that guy. It's okay, I'm coming. Uh, no, I don't think that guy was going the right way. Unless we were talking about a different guy. He, he went the right way. Iron Giant. Okay, Did I saw I someone. Him? I just saw his trust disappearing. There he is. That guy. This guy. Do I go down uh, here? No you're, you're going, no, you're going the wrong way. Going the wrong way. Yeah, back <laughs> up. I'll wait for you. Yeah, it's kind of amazing. Up the hill. I'm not down here. I'm going up. I I am down here. Nope, you you passed me. I didn't see you. <laughs> I was looking I, at I know, the tigers. Cause... Yeah, sorry. Wait. <clears throat> oh, there you are. Yeah, this way. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay, I was gonna go that way. And she never went off by herself again. That's not true. <laughs> You know I would do that. <laughs> Especially on a mount. I ain't scared. Let's go. Yeah, you can't get aggroed by shit. Hey, at least it's not double blizzard here anymore. Yeah, it's nice sky. You can actually see, like, the whole zone clearly. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Adam, are you going to come back to 14? 
Adam was a cutscene watcher, right? I think so. I don't think he's played any Shadowbringers. Oh. Yeah. Bro. He's got he's got a lot to get through. But I think he I think he likes doing that. I think he mentioned to me that he likes letting it build up. Yeah. No oh, Shadowbringers, damn man. I wish I could erase my brain and do it again. <laughs> yeah, really. Good expansion. Yeah, I, I kind of do want to start from scratch with my uh, legacy character. That'll be awesome. Yeah. You need to flaunt your tattoo at all times. Yep, yep. And I hardly wear any clothes in that game anyway, so it'll work. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, I think... I think we have to go down this one. I don't know that I would have found this. Yeah, it's quite easy. It's it's a little clearer on the minimap, in my opinion, because there's no, like, marks of notorious monsters getting in the way. Mm. Um, so that's why I like to use the map and the minimap kind of in tandem. Yeah. You're gonna do nothing but make money on the first two weeks of Endwalker? That is a smart move. Yeah, that, that is a smart move. I have one week of stalling to do on MSQ, so I might try to do the same thing. But we'll see. Because a lot of shit is blocked off if you don't do the MSQ. Let's right. break into this mount. What the fuck? That's because I do it like while I'm moving. Oh, hydrate. I gotta do like this door. Yeah, I think you're getting a cutscene, so I'm gonna deafen. Iron great. Is this another long one? Should I get more water? <laughs> I have like two sips of water left. Uh, you might want to get more water after after this cutscene. Okay. I can do that. All right. Fenrir, I swear to God, you better help us, Mary. I am truly sorry. You did not have to come. It is my fault that you became a tool of the terrestrial avatar. What did he just call me? The Phoenix Blade has confirmed what Nagumalada said. When the gates of paradise open, the terrestrial avatars will return to their original form. Mere beasts. The slumbering gods will awake, and the Vanadil we know will be transformed into a paradise blessed with their glory. However, with their awakening, the Lord of Chaos shall also return. Whether this is good or bad, not even Phoenix knows. Not even Phoenix knows. And so countless lives were lost in my country in the Far East. The Phoenix Blade was forged from the flames of resurrection, the flames left by Phoenix. Its sole purpose was to destroy the emptiness, however, it lacked the power to fulfill that mission. It required a strength not only obtained by taking innocent lives. The number of people who were ultimately sacrificed is unspeakable. Bandits and criminals were the first to be taken. Soon, villages that could not pay their tributes began offering sacrifices in place of money or court crops. Finally, the lives of those had fallen into slumber of the emptiness were taken as they slept, unaware of the fate that had befallen them. Dark as fuck. To you, the tactics chosen by my country may sound barbaric. However, my people realize that this is only part of their destiny. They accept their deaths in exchange to prevent the deaths of others. They know that with their passing, they will have protected the world and their children and their grandchildren will inherit. Okay, dude. I said it was dark, man. Mary, my country has entrusted me with a great task, and I am here to fulfill it. One aspect of that task is to protect the Phoenix Blade with my life. I must follow my orders at any cost, and that is why I need you to promise me. If Phoenix leads me down a path that defies the will and mortality of men, 
then you will do what is right for this world. Now I must continue, Mary. It is said that deep within this tower, the power of Phoenix sleeps, and one can speak with the Avatar if his power is released. What did I say? I just heard you yell Fenrir. Oh, Phoenix. My bad. Sorry, I'm like trying to read ahead so I can actually read it correctly. Fenrir sleeps here and we can wake him the fuck up and have a chat, said Tenzin. I can only pray that my spirit remains as strong as yours. Here he goes again. Always running away. How fucked up is that? That's pretty fucked. Yep. <laughs> they sacrificed all those people for Phoenix to become a blade to protect the world. Well, in order to banish the emptiness, right? Banish, so, it was yeah, like, to protect the so world. first, yeah, so and first they took out criminals and stuff, but when it wasn't enough, they resorted to other more innocent people, but they were like willingly giving their lives in order to banish the emptiness in the hopes that it would save the world for their children and their children's and children. And Nagmalata just told him that he's a puppet. <laughs> yep. Let's go fuck up Fenrir. I'm tired of this shit. Did, did you want to get some more water? Uh, no, I still got a couple more sips. When it's gone, I'll get more. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. There are a few one-way walls here. Okay, this this is the one where we're going to be going um, counterclockwise. Ah. Here, there's, uh, I'm just let me reading it very, very quickly here. Yeah, I was just trying to see what the aggro is like here. It's probably going to be similar to before, so probably sneak and invis and I'll yep. open the doors. That goblin hunter wants anywhere. to fight me. I bet he does. Okay, this is the one that we're going counterclockwise. <clears throat> Following <clears throat> you, chief. Oops, yeah, I'm just going to take out some... my own cast. I'm going to take out the trusties. Try that again. My trusty testies. Trusty testies? Yeah. <laughs> Aya. Yeah. I don't remember if we have to fight anything in here. Oh shit, hydrate. You're going to make <clears throat> me have to get up. But I think this is going to be similar to where, like, we have to go find the elevator and then ride it down. And then uh, check the avatar gate. Ooh, lights are flashy. So, just wasn't sure if you realized this is, like, there are multiple different, like, Soja <laughs> towers and entrances. Sorry. Aw, I know, I see what you're laughing at. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, hi, buddy. <laughs> Boring I wasn't guys. expecting him to be that close. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's funny. Right. Something something uh, maze and shit. Yeah, you you listened a lot there. So uh, I don't, I'm sure you've noticed, or maybe you didn't, but I, I assume you did, that there are multiple different entrances. Yeah. Uh, to show the Soja, there's many different towers. Right. We've been here in a different spot before. Yeah, we've been to the same exact zone, but from uh, a different entrance. Because um, okay. this is this was like the fortress of the Kulu, like the Kulu. This is like ancient ruins of Kulu. Ugh, double spider, gross. Yeah, yeah a little creepy. Oja. Oh, ja. You're you're gonna get some weird camera oh, things God. here. Oh God. Yeah, now what? look behind you. It's a one way. This place like fucks with your. Dude, head. what the fuck? <laughs> yep. What? Yep. What just happened? Yep. Like, I'm so confused as to what actually just happened there. <laughs> okay, hold on. Does that happen again? Uh huh. Okay, cool. Pretty We're sure in. it does. Okay. Yeah, what here's about another this door? one. Ah. <laughs> Dude! Oh my god, and you get stuck! Yep. What yep, the... A one-way trip. Frick. 
So if you don't know the right way, like this is this is a fucking maze. Like, like there's definitely more than one way okay. to go here. <laughs> so every time I do anything in this game, all I can think of were the first players to get here that didn't know anything about it, experiencing yep. this and having to fight through everything. How many people yep. died? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> just trying like to get if, through. Like, don't run north right now, but like if you face north, yep. that is like a completely different way to go, and that could lock you. Oh, you can kind of tell though, because there's double wall there. Yeah, maybe. Wait, let me just pass this. Not a well, double this wall. Well, one, this one here, so you have to go uh, east, but that's a double wall, but that's not a one way. But if you go back that way, maybe it locks. It it might. I don't know. Well, I'd rather don't not do try. It. Weird. Wait, where are you? What? Are We're you going this way. Laughing at me being confused. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it does We're seem like there. a glitch. If I didn't know to expect that, I would have thought like my character just teleported somewhere. Mm-hmm. Okay. If you look uh nor um if you look to the west, do you see the hole in the ground there? Yeah. That's we're going to go in there. Okay. And, and this is a one way, so I'll let you come in first before you fall. <clears throat> and then once you fall, we're going to go south. Good gravy. I'm going to fall. Boing. The movement physics. Like, poor character's legs. She just, like, she doesn't even <clears throat> bend her knees. Jesus Christ! <laughs> and we made it. Holy moly. Get it through the maze. Pocket page. Yep. Does it again. Are we on here? Yep, we're on. <gasps> nope, I'm well, not on. Me neither. Okay. It's okay. Thank God. I didn't want to go on because it's like a timed thing. So I figure we'll just wait. We were so close, though. Yeah, there's probably a couple things in this game that could be... You think they're a glitch, but they're very real. <laughs> tornadoing like Carnage likes to do. <laughs> nice. Alright, on the elevator. Yes. Oh, Goblin Alchemist. Can you teach me some things? I would like to take on your job. Please, sir. Okay, bye. I'll never be an alchemist. Alright. Off I'm the off. Uh, elevator. And then, um, don't cast any magic here. No, I won't. And then, uh, check the avatar gate for a cutscene. And I'm gonna definitely... Not myself. The gate, please. Need to check me. I know I'm okay. Open up Fenrir. I would really like my character to start hitting people. Is that too much to ask? I am Fenrir. Though I am not no longer of body, my spirit continues to roam the heavens. However, my strength has begun to fade as do stars come morn. O guardian of the moon, my name is Tenzin. I have come from a land far to the east, the blade born of Phoenix at my side. Great misfortune has befallen Benadiel. The four mother crystals have lost their power and were overtaken by the emptiness. Benadiel trembles at the arrival of the Keeper of the Apocalypse. To save our world, we require your strength and your wisdom, and you offer us your assistance. Though you still choose the path to live and die with the children of dawn, the path of the terrestrial avatars, the path of the people. I apologize, but I do not quite understand what you are trying to tell us. The memories 
of 10,000 years ago, they will guide you. Witness the vows of ancient times, the decisions made before I fade into the morning sky. Giving us the echo. Oh dear. Oh, wait. Oh yeah, oh dear. Where are we? Where are we? Hello? Would this be Fenrir's vision? Oh. God. If we are truly witnessing civilization's past, then those fighting Fenrir are our ancestors? Listen carefully, people of Vanadil. Though you have accepted Twilight, you still choose to remain in this world. You did not heed our warnings, and now the light of the crystals has begun to fade. Chaos is upon you. There is nothing more we can do for you. We, are no we no longer have time for idle chatter. If you wish to remain as you are, leave this place immediately. There is still time before the pact between the terrestrial avatars and Celtius is fulfilled. Go, live your lives, until the flames of your souls have flickered out. Wait, our future is not yet decided. We have come to request you a new destiny. Request of you a new destiny. A new destiny? I shall repeat myself one last time. Your destinies have been recorded in the pages of the universe. The answer given by the Mother Crystals becomes truth. The memories of the crystal have been uttered. These words cannot be changed. Yes, we understand. As time passes, the life force that dwells within us all becomes tainted. Darkness is born. And then comes one who harbors that darkness, Keeper of the Apocalypse, and he will lead us into twilight. This destiny is not decided by you, and cannot be changed using the divination power of the stars or moon. It is a given. However, I traveled to my homeland and I spoke with the dying Celtius. And he told me, if the Keeper of the Apocalypse is defeated, then the pact with the terrestrial avatars would be broken. You are correct. But you can only succeed by first breaking the chains that bind your people. With Celtius gone, who is there left with the strength, the courage, to accomplish the daunting task? Who is there left to bear forth an answer to the an answerless riddle? I am left. I have found the answer. Celtius told me what he was trying to accomplish because he wished for me to continue in his footsteps. It cannot be. You are the one who escaped from the curse of the emptiness. Even my readings could not predict this crossing of destinies. You who have broken free from the circle of life, you may be able to watch over the destinies of mankind until the end arrives. But when it does, the Keeper of the Apocalypse rises up, and you will be powerless. And you will witness every man and woman on Vanadil blindly march into the Void of Twilight, their arrogance, apathy, cowardice, rage, and envy drawing them deeper and deeper into the darkness. Yes, however, there is still hope. The life force of men is strong. They will persevere along the river of time until an answer is found. Fenrir, guardian of the moon, we await your divination. Tell us the fated era. Tell us the fated land. If we know only when and where the Keeper of the Apocalypse will rise forth, we will find a way to defeat him. Mankind will find a way. The Fated Era. Fated Land. The hardships that accompany the destiny you so desire to bear are beyond any you could even imagine. However, this may be the only true form of retribution for your past sins. Are you ready to take upon your back the destiny of all mankind? 
and I am not one to stand in your way. Let the moon reading begin. This is wild. Fuck. <gasps> and so destiny has spoken. After 10,000 years of sleep, the Keeper of the Apocalypse will rise once again. Amnesia. What? Wait. So they weren't fucking kidding. Mary. Would Fenrir's words be the truth? Or simply some form of trickery? After 10,000 years of sleep, the Apocalypse, the Keeper of the Apocalypse, will rise once again in Tavnasia? 10,000 years have passed. Nasia, the abhorrent one, but must return, to, must return to Bastok and speak with Lady Ulmia immediately. Page? <laughs> Hello? I, I almost died. <laughs> no. What did you do? Uh, so goblins down here still aggro me. Uh, so I was watching the cutscene and the whole time he was like taking swings at me doing like 2 HP. 5 HP. 5 HP. Like pecking away at me like oh while I was watching the cutscene. And I just happened to, to see it on the corner of, the, of my screen. <laughs> so I just tabbed back in really quick and was like, whoops. My god. <laughs> okay, well... You would have came after you next, probably. Yeah, I would have <laughs> emerged from that cutscene dead. Like, yeah, oh, which, Fenrir just murdered us. Happen. That's great. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this game, though. So, yeah, you're getting quite the lore dump this evening. So, we still don't know who's telling the truth. That's great. Well, what you just witnessed there was a conversation that happened between Fenrir and Eshin Atarl and some Kulu 10,000 years ago. Right. So you basically, you just saw the echo. So, that was, yeah. What the fuck? Uh, back to Sid. Okay. And that will finish... Uh, that will finish... That will finish up his line. Jeff. Fuck. Yeah, so, um, yeah, that'll finish this, and it'll, when you talk to Sid again, it'll also move you on to the next, uh, the next quest or mission. Ah. Uh. And, uh, that'll probably be a good time to stop for tonight. Yeah. My brain. Oh, yeah, I bet. Big Mom. Look at this, Taru. It's Big Mom. Big Mom? Big Mom. <laughs> Doesn't look very big. Maybe they are. Maybe they have a big personality. Yeah, maybe they do. I like their yeah. outfit. Very cute. That's just like I think that's just naked Taru Taru. Is it? I think so. It's cute. <laughs> maybe maybe not. Yeah, they're naked. They have they've got nothing on except a ring and a staff. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, Sid, we got some shit to tell you. Hold on, to the metal box. Love it. Dun, 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 dun. He had the little onion head, too. Cute. Mm -hmm. The tar. Oh, yeah. Sid! Sid, I don't know who's telling the truth anymore, man. Show me your teeth, it'll make me feel better. <laughs> Master Sid has Lady Omia returned. And what of Lady Prish? Calm down, calm down. Omia arrived back here a few days ago. She's resting in one of the guest re residences. Prish, well, there are still no signs of her. But before we set out to look for her, why don't you tell us what you found on your journey? Eh, uh. The terrestrial avatars told you that. It's so hard to believe, but 
Some of the things Nagmalata said do make some sense. For example, the recent strange energy readings from the crags. I've studied those as well. But I never imagined that the remnants of the ancients were trying to do something as crazy as that, using the lines to converge the energy from all five crystals. And ultimately using that concentrated power to open up the gates of paradise. Huh. I'm not positive, but with that much energy, opening the gates may not be as impossible as it sounds. And with all the technology those hood hooded scientists in Juno have... Uh, but wait a minute. Didn't they already try opening the gates 10,000 years ago and fail miserably? Just look at their capital. It sunk to the bottom of the sea. Until we find out this paradise place really is. What this paradise place really is. We can't let the Zillark go on doing as they please. That is true, but we first must face the problem that lies before us. The Keeper of the Apocalypse. It, I was certain that Celtius was the one we were searching for, but after hearing the testimony of Fenrir, that the Keeper of the Apocalypse would be born unto Tavnasia. Enzin, according to what you've told me, Rich's treatment in Tavnasia was quite out of the ordinary. Are you trying to say that this is because she is the Keeper? While it pains me to believe so, all the recent events seem to point to that conclusion. I have asked Phoenix numerous times for an answer, but she only replies that she too does not know. But if it is true, if Prish is the Keeper of the Apocalypse, then there is only one thing I can do. Hold on, Tenzin. We still don't know for sure that she's the one. Yeah, she's a little rude and a little crude and a heck of a lot wilder than I get uh, like most of my company. But once you get past that, you realize she's one of the most honest people you'll ever meet. I couldn't imagine her lying to a soul, never mind, let alone being untrue to herself. Tenzin, you can't truly believe that she's inherited the will of Promethea, can you? <laughs> Jeez! Yeah, his face is very cursed. However, I cannot doubt what I saw. I believe that Fenrir showed me what he did for a reason. It is the sole wish of the terrestrial avatars to keep the gates of paradise closed. Anyone who attempts to open the gates will undoubtedly become their enemy. Perhaps the will of Promethea... Perhaps the will of Promethea remains dormant within Lady Prish. Perhaps she simply has not realized that she carries the Seed of Twilight. Alright. But I'm gonna have to ask you to refrain from questioning Ulmia until Uvarons gets back. We don't want to jump to any conclusions before we've grasped the whole picture. Penzin, I understand that you blame yourself for not being able to find Prish, but think of poor Ulmia and how she would react. Very well, Master Sid. I promise I will not speak of what I saw to Lady Olmia until the return of Sir Luverance. If it is not too much to ask, might I inquire as to where she is staying? Raibot, show Tenzin to Olmia's room. Are we keeping secrets now, huh? Mary, to tell you the truth... I think we may be in way over our heads here. Up until now, whether it be for science or justice, I've never thought too deeply about what I was getting into. I just took the ball and ran with it as fast as I could. But this time, this time a little voice in the back of my head is telling me that I should be careful. I don't know, maybe I'm just getting old. It's those ancients that you keep talking about. If they're rooted firmly in Juno, there may not be anything we can do to pull them out. Fighting worms and beastmen is bad enough. I shudder to think of what would happen if the duchy's army was thrown into the mix. And there's something else that has been bothering me. This far eastern country that Tenzin has supposedly traveled from. Even the pirates of Norg know little about it. How do we know if we can really trust them? Who speaks the truth? And who peddles lies? It is becoming harder and harder to tell. I see a storm brewing on horizon. If we don't take care, 
Our ship may sink and everything we have fought for up to now may be lost. If you really want to save your nation and its people, you have to be strong. See things with your own eyes, make decisions with your own heart. Don't be fooled by those with ulterior motives. Ah, sorry about that, Mary. I didn't mean to sound like a father scolding his daughter. Alright, mans. Huh? What's wrong? Uncle Sid, the Tenshoto just sent into a message. Prish has been spotted in Juno. What? They told her that there was a warrant out for her capture, but she didn't seem to listen. What's wrong? Why would she go and risk being captured? You know, perhaps... Perhaps she has gone to meet with... Olmias or something we should know. Master Sid, I must leave for Juno immediately. Olmia! <sighs> this doesn't look good. Rybot, find Tenzin and Luverance and tell them what has happened. Then hurry to Juno. Tell them not to worry about Movopolis. I'll have a party of musketeers. No, gold musketeers sent there right away. Eri, you had better go to Juno as well. You can't find Prish, and we'll all meet in the front of Grand Duke Palace and plan our next move. If she's already been captured, then I can guarantee she'll be somewhere in that building. Good gravy. Mary, you need to... Have your avatar have teeth like that? I don't know if I can. I can maybe I paint them terrifying. on my lips. Yeah. Is there a, is there a, one of those filters that is like maybe that just makes your head a set of teeth? I had like a skeleton one for Halloween, <laughs> but I don't know how accurate it would be. It just make me look like a skeleton. You're right. I can't even make my avatar show her teeth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a little bit. Not much, though. <laughs> <sighs> oh, hydrate. This is my last sip of water. Thank God. We're right at the end, too. Yeah, that's good timing. Um, mm. Check your um, your missions under Pro under um, Promethea. I'm just curious what it says. It says, for whom the verse is sung. Okay. Yep, that is correct. Excellent. Hot damn. Yeah. The only person I trust is Sid. Yeah, he's trustworthy. Yeah, I mean, with teeth like that, who wouldn't believe in him? I guess. <clears throat> Come back. Back too close. Oh. Uh, there he is. If you talk to him, he might start the next uh, the next mission. All right, let's do it. End on a good note with Sid. Sure. I've heard good things about you. It seems you're quite the adventurer now. I have a job for you. It's, uh, well, it's not a mission or anything official. It's a personal favor. There's a tavern in the port district called the Steaming Sheep Restaurant. I want you to go and see the matron there if she needs any help. And if she does, could you try to help her? Of course I will reward you for your services. Oh, is that what I'm doing now? I'm a waitress. <laughs> no, I think that's like a side quest. Sir? Yeah, that we is a side quest. We have bigger things to worry about, my dude. <laughs> you chill out about restaurants? Ah, it's you. Yeah, I was just still talking to you, man. You remember, you remember what, what I, I asked, asked right? Jesus. <laughs> Is that it? Yep, yeah, that's, that's it. it. Oh, okay. Yep, I yeah. remember. We'll, we'll pick it up next time. You're going to start uh, this drawing sometime soon, Sid? It's, uh, it's been a blank paper here for a while. He's working on it. He's thinking about it. Maybe he's got writer's block, drawer's <laughs> block, artist block. Go on, bud. He's proud. All right, we're out of here. Put a shirt on. <laughs> uh, yeah, you definitely fight things. Uh, this particular uh, expansion that we're working through right now is is just a fuck ton of lore and story. Yeah, we were um, like leveling a whole lot at the beginning. Yeah. Um, and we, we were fighting things earlier. Like you did a you did a, a fight in the Moblins. Yeah, most of it I'm having Paige just, like, destroy everything. Normally, I would have to fight all of that shit that we were going through. I mean, I guess I could sneak in Viz and just have trusts out and do it myself, but... Yeah. He's, like, way over-leveled and just destroying things for me so I can see the story. Yeah. Like, I am 
I am level 95, and all those little NPCs that I summon are, will also be level 95. <laughs> a bit. Uh, I'm getting fully yeah. carried. Like, I'm yeah. in his backpack. He's not pocket page. I'm in the pocket. <laughs> and he's <laughs> carrying me around. Pretty much. Yeah. He's yeah. my guy. If, if you were to do it yourself, it would just be harder. And Yeah, I have a hard time, like, even with Paige, and I was trying at the beginning to follow the wiki, it was just impossible. Um... I really think it's just an ADD thing for me. Even when Paige is telling me verbally to go to a place, I'm like, okay, I have to do this, this, and this, right? And I'll forget two seconds later. <laughs> like, yeah, and following the guide them. isn't the easiest thing either. Like, I, I did this very thing, like, a month ago, yeah. following the guide. So I'm doing this again for the second time in a short span, and I'm still making sure I'm checking things and we're going to the right spot in the right order, because... Like, the way, I mean, it's like, you know, there's no, like, in 14, you've got a constant little waymark that tells you exactly where to go next and what to do. Yeah. But in this game, there's nothing like that. So it's like, if you skip a step, and you travel all the way across the world, and, you know, to go to this next NPC, and they just give you not what you need, you have to go and look at the guide and be like, wait, oh, I, we gotta go talk to this person first which is in a total another area mm -hmm. but like the game won't tell you that you know like you yep. just have to follow it yourself so you really have to like read into it too and like pay attention to the quest or you're not gonna know yeah so it, you have to go this is like the dark souls of mmos <laughs> yeah it is yep yeah definitely no shinies to run after at all they don't no tell you how to crumbs. play your job Nope. There's no tutorial, really. Well, there is a little tutorial, but it's If clunky. you don't know that macros exist, this is how you play the game. It's like... It's like regular Final Fantasy, but it's not turn-based, so you don't have time to think about what you're gonna do. Yeah. It is slow combat, but when you've got so many menus to get through, it, it's, it's, it's clunky. Yeah. Make macros. But. That. It is very highly customizable, though. It's like... Yeah. Yeah. And you get cool mounts. Yeah! That I can't summon here. Otherwise I'd no. show you. My babu. And my crab. <sighs> Alright, I'm fading. Yeah. Holy lore dumps today. I think I can tell, like, when... When you're, uh... When your med starts to wear off, because you start oh. skipping words when you read sometimes. It's so difficult. <laughs> or you'll, like, I can or you'll tell replace too. words with yeah. something else. Like, I can tell too, and it's a distracting thought in my head that I'm simultaneously oh. trying to read, and I'm also thinking, oh, my meds are wearing off. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh, somebody typed in chat. I should look at that. Not yet. I need to read this, but I'm trying to <laughs> voice act while I'm thinking all these things so i'm like calling yeah. fenrir phoenix and <laughs> skipping words like fuck <laughs> zard uh, but yeah and it was it was a lot yeah yeah thanks for stopping by you yeah you too man night everybody else as well thanks for lurking and sticking around and chatting and bearing with my voice acting <laughs> i go relax Go to bed. Yep, that sounds yes. good. Have an excellent night. I'll see you on Tuesday. Good night, everybody. Bye.